personal life, I theoretically, I live in the world of, you know, educated people who are doing something with their lives. Not a lot of drama. Not a lot of drama. You talk about your HOA. <laughs> Except for the HOA. <laughs> but you would, then, you got yourself involved in that. I did. Well, it wasn't but, like it just drama. It was like, you're like, hell, I want to put my bumper sticker on my. I know. So, but to care. So who's, but to, so who's getting restrained? <laughs> uh, she's oh, a, she's an attorney. Of, lots of people, you know. I, <laughs> she has to restrain people. I, I deal with restraining order court on Thursdays. And, it's, you know, it's always. A lot, a lot of the, for civil harassment, there's different kinds of restraining orders. There's elder abuse, civil harassment, domestic violence, and workplace violence. Today we had a couple, we had a workplace violence one today. Uh, somebody who's been disrupting the Salinas City Council meetings and threatening the mayor. What? So, yeah. You know, why are, why are people allowed to get away with this? They've been talking about what's been on the news where these people are threatening and threatening, you know, you know, with the, with the cases happening in Manhattan. It's like, Find those people and lock them up or get them some well, mental health treatment or something. But I mean, no, you should, nobody should be allowed to give any kind of though, threats like that. You, you can't force mental health treatment on people. They have well, you should to... be able to at least take them and. So in know. California, you can, if they're a danger to themselves or others, you can lock them up for 72 hours and then they get a hearing after that. And if they're not suicidal or going to kill somebody they get released even if they're go out, going out on the street to talk to the voices the voices well <laughs> yeah that's absolutely right well hello hello carolyn hello jim hello bill hello bob hello, hello, hello. so susan got a couple yes. questions yes ma'am just want to make sure when i contact the reason center um so the workshop is basically what we did online it's yes Exactly, but it's in person, and then we go out and eat. Okay. How long? Um, because you know, I know there's rentals and stuff. So two hours. Pay attention, Bill. So I'm I'm just trying to get you know. So when I, I I guess they said because it's run by volunteers, it may take a couple of days before they get back to us. So okay. I'm just letting you know. That's wonderful. Thank you, Carolyn, for taking care of that. So what, what Carolyn's talking about is I'm going to come up to Sacramento and the Bay Area and I'm going to do my workshops that I've done and then, you know, do one on a Saturday, one on a Sunday. So I'll, you know, do one, then the other. I don't know what order. It depends on what day, but anyway, that's Very happening. Sacramento. At the Reason Center, hopefully. I mean, I need to contact them. but Yeah, so we're still yeah. working on it. I'm, I'm sure that's where the, is the reason center in Sacramento. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's like Bill I, might be asking for the I've address because he lives in Sacramento. Well, let, let's get it's it's was where you know it closed, it was around, and then they did they relocate it, Carolyn? I have to find that out. So because I, 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 I spoke there once, to, I did talk to David and I asked for a contact, contact person. He said it probably doesn't matter. When I looked at the website, he's on the board, the board. So, um, I mean, when it gets down to the nitty gritty, I know he'll, I'm, I'm fairly certain I shouldn't speak for him. I think he'll support us and help organize, but I know he's got, sure. I know he's got his finger in a lot of things right now. He's, yeah, he's, Earth Day's coming up too and all that. Earth Day, Free Thought, um, you know, this, this advocacy, Free Thought Advocacy Day is coming up, um. Plus he's, he's involved with other things and because he's kind of a go-to guy, like you, you, you know, mentioned, I know he's getting hit from all different directions, including me on some other things that have well, to, to got to do is just open the door and that's about it. No, I know. I'm, I'm just saying yeah. that. Yeah. He's, he's so fantastic. Good. Thank you, Carolyn. Yep. Isn't Carolyn great. Um, so I'm going to come out and do a couple talks because we need to keep people active and getting together and that kind of stuff and see if I said they'll, they'll help. Because there's no skeptic. Help. Yeah. And there's no skeptic out and I didn't do skeptic camp. So we got to do these kinds of things. We got to grow back slowly, I think, because it's just been this pandemic really. Sh yeah. It was bad. It was very bad. So we're playing trivia tonight, huh? So I've been told. So anyway, the reason center is right next to Cal Expo. 
I think it's where it used to be. I think it's where I went to the other one. Yeah, that sounds right. Lots of parking. It was off a freeway. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. If I remember correctly. All right. So we have Jamie, Gail, Kevin, Peggy, and Carl tonight. Oh, oh that again? For my note here. Jamie? Jamie, Gail, Kevin, Peggy, and Carl. Thank you. You're welcome. At least that's what I have. Um, Carl, I know that you talked to, you sent a message to Katie, and I've sent two messages to Katie. One was about something else about a month ago, and then once uh, on your behalf. And I, I don't think she even read the messages. So I don't. I guess she's not, right. she's not ignoring you. She's not ignoring me. She's ignoring everybody. <laughs> So I don't, you're talking about Katie Dyer. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I know that when I was uh, trying to contact her, the, the time about that, she was having uh, some uh, parental health problems she was dealing with. And indeed, her oh. uh, one parent passed away, like, in, I think, in December. How, how long ago was this where you're talking to her? December? Like, yeah, like the October, November, December time okay. frame. Well, it's uh, been in the last month and the last week, so. And I and I think she's been uh, traveling on vacation for the past few weeks, so well, she may not it. be, she may not be responding to much communication while she's on vacation. And that makes total sense. Uh, we just got a message from Ron, who said, "Hi, Susan. I'm taking the night off. Must be too much Wordle." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when I see you guys' posts on Wordles, I'm like, they're still doing this. He's oh, I'm getting better at it. Like I saw face. that you've been doing that. What, Bob? He's afraid that Ron is afraid to show his face after last week. <laughs> was that last week? Or the week before? Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't remember. Two yeah. weeks ago. No, no. Two weeks ago. No, uh, it was last week. Because my mom's best week. friend, who's like 79, started playing Wordle. She made me start oh. playing Wordle. So oh, no. I did. I'm sorry. So when I first started Wordle, I would I got a lot of fives. I got some sixes and I struck out sometimes and I didn't get very many threes. But now I'm getting a lot of threes and fours and way more than fives and sixes. So I've improved. You're weird. Hey, Bill, do you want to be the uh, <laughs> muter tonight? I don't have the proper... Uh... I, I'm, I'm on an iPad. I don't. Okay, have all right. Put you off for another day. Who hasn't done it in a while? I'll do it. It's fine. Where are you? And where am I? <laughs> well, that's a good question. He's right there. I ask myself He's that. Out of the snow. Day. Look at the Cindy's snow. back. Hi, Cindy. Where have you been? Jordan. Geography class. I was here last week. She was here last week. Yep. Boy, I am really in like a time loop, aren't I? I don't know what the heck's going on. It's hard to remember. We got like well, 50 people and some people sometimes I, I, I can remember the slightest little anything, but you, you should you should have a TA take attendance. You should get a TA. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd have to remember who my TA is. I've got it all right here in a spreadsheet, but I'm just not looking, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna tell whenever, Ron what you guys said about him. Whenever I hear TNA, I think of something <laughs> totally different. A gas station chain? <laughs> Not quite. There's no and, there's no and just T A. Just T A. That's, just TA. that's weird. Is that a gas station that's uh, exclusively in the U.S.? S T and A. T -A? I think we have no. the best T and A in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a gas station called T and A? Not that I know of. Yeah, all over. Yeah. Where, Kyle? They're like the classic one on a highway, not near a city, like in between places. You'll see them. What are they called? T and A? Yeah, T and A. Hmm. Uh, oh, I yeah, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I think Susan's yeah. skeptical. <laughs> oh, no, it says it, it's coming up. Sure. It, it's so oh, sir, you have to bring your own. <laughs> Travel Centers of America. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. T-A Travel Center. Wait, where's the gas stations? T-A Travel Center. So they're more than a gas station. They're more like a 
place you go and you buy your drinks and your stuff and your like it's a truck stop. It's called T A. And I don't recognize the logo at all. But it's a truck stop, I guess. Are you just one of those places where you can they take a shower? They all the time. Yeah. Maybe a prostitute. So Get some TNA. <laughs> oh, but I do. I, I can only stay uh, for two sessions. I oh, do. well, then we'll hand it off to somebody else. Oh, okay. Don't right. And it's or entirely possible that I will poop out because I got up at five o'clock this morning and I'm exhausted. I had a dream about Carl and uh, Ross Blotcher, and I woke up at seven this morning, and it was pissing me off. I was all stressed out about it. Same kind of idea, and I finally went back. I rode, I read my, I read my on my phone. I read the New York Times and all that, and I was so upset. And then uh, finally, finally, I went back to sleep, and I overslept, and then I felt so groggy. Same kind of thing, Robin. You, know, you just get you get there, Ra uh, Carl. I'm <laughs> sorry to tell you, you're dead. <laughs> Oh man! It was a heart. It was your heart. I had I had some very interesting dreams this morning. <laughs> um, Can they be told on recorded? Things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's like Alice in Wonderland type stuff where you're like, this doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> it had something to do with spies in Russia because you know Russia and Ukraine are on our mind. Right. And I had I had something to do with the spying operation, and at some point. Uh, uh -huh. You know, the, the, the scene changed several times, but at some point I said, she's a spy because this golden retriever recognizes that she's speaking light Russian instead of dark Russian. <laughs> <laughs> the dog knew that? The dog, the dog recognized this person as a spy. It is also Wonderland-like. Yeah. Oh, it is very all American <laughs> dog right there. I, I, oh, I love it when, when you wake up and you remember a dream that makes no sense whatsoever. But during the dream, yeah. everything makes it sense. Was in the dream. Sense. It was it was yeah. perfect. It was perfect. Like I had a dream it, about Cyclone the other day. She's speaking what? the wrong kind of Russian. Mm -hmm. Brett, 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 what? I had a dream about Cyclone the other day. Was it good? <laughs> the last one um, or the upcoming one? Well, it was a different one. It was like a new one. Um, and like someone in the group went missing, and I was like. Like nobody seemed to care. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, the weird thing is, and this is the funny part, because it was supposed to be someone that I had known when I was a teenager and lost track of. And then, like, Kyle was good friends with him now, sort of. And, um, Kyle, you know him? <laughs> yeah, we're sort of friends yeah but <laughs> the funny part is his name was wayne lapierre and i was like wait that can't be right in he's my not dream, invited in our club <laughs> like, the head of the nra it, yeah that was his name but it wasn't him <laughs> okay and so this person went missing and Kyle yeah. was was Kyle responsible? I don't know. I'm not sure I understand the Kyle connection. It was David Polites. No, I was asking <laughs> Susan about <laughs> it. And Susan was like, Well, I think Kyle oh, I was there? might know him. Yeah, you were there and Carl was there. And um I'm busy in dreams. <laughs> <laughs> like pretty much everybody from that's normally there was at Cyclone was there. But we, but Kyle killed the person. Hi, hi, Troy. So, Listen, so I got an alibi. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I There's... was busy in another dream. <laughs> so Carl, so Carl, in the dream I had last night. Okay, let me see if I can get this straight because it made total sense at the time. Just like you say, Ross Blotcher and three other people, and you. Okay. And you guys had taken a car and you'd driven out to go see this thing in this field that was a long way from anything. And it had like, it was like an amusement park, but it was abandoned. There was nobody around and like things would pop. I don't know what, it, okay. It made sense at the time. Now that I'm thinking about it, it makes no <laughs> sense at all. But things were popping up. It made sense. But you had a really bad heart condition. And I think you had your cameras with you. 
And your name wasn't Carl, but it was you. But it was me. Was it, it was Kyle? you. It was definitely you. <laughs> definitely and Kyle. so what happened is you started having heart palpitations or something like that. It was four kilometers. I don't know why it was kilometers, but it's four kilometers to get to this place. Hi, Peggy. Engineering. Hi, Rob. And so we get out there and you started and you're like, I don't know if I can make it back to the car. I don't know why you guys had to walk four kilometers from the car. But you did. I don't know if it was like a field or something, some stupid reason. But so Ross and some other guy took and they put their hands in such a way, they held hands in a cross like this so that you could sit on their hands and they could <laughs> like in a chair. I remember that vividly. And the woman who was walking behind, she was a smallish, shortish. And she, she, what she did is she had a hook on, on a stick and she held it up and it held up the back of your, like your, your, this, <laughs> and it held it up so that you'd have something to lean on so that you could like, she walked behind you holding it like, this is so stupid. I can't believe I'm telling this story, <laughs> but you, you were able to lean back on it. And okay. then you, Every guy where you guys went, nobody take it seriously. You're trying to, I'm like, you got cell phones. What's wrong with you people? You know, I, I heard about the story after you'd already died and I was so pissed off because I'm like, what are you doing? Bringing this guy out there who has this really serious heart condition and making him walk four kilometers. It's so stupid. Bring this car, call somebody. And then you were like, oh no, I can make it back to the car maybe. And they, they only made it one kilometer. I have no idea how long a kilometer is, but it's long. <laughs> And they only made it one kilometer carrying you in this mile. chair. It's a kilometer. And hi, Jamie. And then what they hey, do is they get you. And, and, then, and then they get you into a city and you're trying to tell people that you need to have help because your heart, something going on with your heart and they measured something on you. I don't know what it was. You had some measurement that could tell that you were really in distress. And then you finally get and nobody would believe you. Nobody take it seriously. And finally you got somewhere and they said, the police or something said he's really weird. He's really walking weird or something like you were like, like just not normal human being person. And so they said, I guess we got to get him hospital. So they got you to the hospital and you died. And then they told me about it and I was so pissed off. So I just want you to know if you get, if you die in some stupid way like that, <laughs> I'll be pissed. If I join the Ministry of Silly Walks and then die. <laughs> there you go. No. <laughs> no, but it was just, so, it was just a weird dream. And I don't know, weird, dreams are weird. Ross was there just they to check weird. if there was an afterlife. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of almost dying. Uh, Did Ross yeah. say, oh no? Drove, drove Sunday to uh, BC. Oh yeah. And made it to uh radium hot springs in uh two and a half hours oh is that so, right yeah from where from calgary 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 to radium hot springs so yes uh, so i guess people who aren't alberta bc people probably have don't know where the hell radium hot springs is it takes about three hours driving there and i did it in less than that so i sped uh, how much snow was there? Is your confession there. recorded? It is. <laughs> yeah. And I've been uh, letting people in ninja wise. So just that's fine. You know, Who else you. is here? Yep. Who have a nice scene? Oh, there's Terry. Hi, Terry. So, yeah. Troy, what's so going on with the bed behind you there? Is it just quilts you've made, or is it like some kind of symbolism or something that two beds with hearts on them and we're supposed to be like, I saw that picture and i liked it that's all there is to it i like <laughs> those quilts. there's no reason behind it then huh yeah that's, nope. the, that's there. The old, yeah. old people's beds oh <laughs> they could be <laughs> twin <laughs> kids they could be kids could be. a couple that doesn't really yeah. get along it's probably the guest bedroom you know yeah that's where i keep my computer right they're right behind me ha 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 no <laughs> yeah, except when you point you can give, give the, the, bed, the beds are a little close for a married couple from a 50s tv sitcom oh yeah they yeah. gotta have like arm's length or something you can't should reach be over an end table should be an end table between them and let's see so peggy is she uh is she sitting in front of peggy's peggy's cove <laughs> 
Oh, that's um, yeah. that's um, uh, what's her name? Murder She Wrote, Angela Lansbury. Co Cove. Cove. They named it for Cove. Cove. Very good. Cabot Cove. That's what it is. Kyle, thank you for the nice comment on my on my video. Oh, what for sure. That, I've been enjoying them. What was it that you said that you you watched that first one of the Operation Pizza Roll? I thought you already knew what that was, and you said, "Oh my wow." Oh, wow, or something. I'm seeing it in a totally different light now. Well, I fibbed a little bit just thinking who was going to stumble upon your video, maybe one of his fans, and uh, that that would be a good comment to read. Oh, that's thank you. I appreciate that. He, uh, yeah, well, leave me lots of comments. I, I watched it. I, I should have left it. I can go back and leave a comment. Yeah, I, I watched most of Seth's stuff. Yeah, what do you think? Am I on the right track? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was neat. Well, it was neat, you. you know, just good chemistry between you. It was it was fun to listen to. I'm I'm trying I'm trying different things each time. I just did one on Sylvia Brown. I redid a video that Mark had um done in 2009 where he punked Sylvia Brown. And if you haven't seen it already, it's it's interesting. I, it's two minutes. It's one two minutes exactly. And um almost nobody's seen it. I thought that one would get a lot of views. The the one I did on Teresa Caputo. It within 24 hours I had 950 views, and then I thought the Sylvia Brown one will get a lot of views, and it's like 30. <laughs> it's just older, but most that's true. Most people are finding the videos from YouTube, like they're searching for sure. uh, Tyler Henry. I mean uh, Tyler Henry, Teresa Caputo, or you know something. They're looking for something, and they look at a video, and then they get recommended it. That's so it's very few coming from Facebook or from my friends or anything. It's mostly people stumbling on it. And from the yeah. from the questions I'm getting, the comments I'm getting, it looks like these people, a lot of them have never come across anything that explains this. They're almost all seem to be like, um, you know, they've been believers in it, or maybe they've had some skepticism, like in something generic but never anything like in detail. And some of the comments are really interesting about how they, I'm I'm fascinated. Some of the conversations I'm having, one person just put something up right now and they're, they're like, oh, okay, most psychics are frauds, 99%. But I had these experiences once 20, 20 years ago and they just told me the experiences and I, and I just responded to them. And their experiences are so <clears throat> meek, you know, and that's what makes them convinced that there's there's real psychics. I'm going, that's not much. That's all you got. <laughs> How could they have known my not great grandfather was there. dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so I'm okay. psychic and psychotic. I oh, you are. I had a friend who swore she believes in the supernatural because she had an experience where she was sitting at the dinner table and she was removed from her body and floating around above the table. And How much had she had to drink? I, <laughs> Every Scientologist she, has Was she eating yeah, mushrooms? Yeah. Can we get and what I she just, had? I don't even know how to respond to that. Like, Well, you know, well, go ahead. Spirits? spirits yeah she had some spirits well the person on the face on on youtube that made the comment their story the weird things happened three times happened three things happened in one night when they were at a pub and Jeez. they get increasingly strange as the night goes on and i'm like yeah she says the last thing happened after late at night after she'd already left the pub and it was had something to do with holding on to an item and she's i think she spun around or something you know i'm thinking well how much had you had to drink you know it's a after the pub late at night and you're also really into psychics at that time she says i was really into all that stuff i'm like so you're suggestible so what what part of this is the the evidence but anyway it was Really interesting. Hi, Jane. Hi. How are you? Oh, we're all okay. Karen has the most interesting stories in the entire world. She's been calling me and telling me about her friend. And oh my gosh, you guys, nothing like the stuff that we see on here. 
and you know, uh, she's you know, she's been the best at these workshops I've done. She's taken it to heart. You know, Cindy has has told me some stuff. She's like, okay, I'm trying to be a better person and trying to be. And Karen's like, oh my god, I was channeling you in my head, Susan, when my friend was telling me this stuff, and I'm trying to be. I did not roll my eyes. I did not cross my arms. I did not laugh in her face. I did not say, are you crazy? <laughs> like I did. Are with you out my, of your fucking mind? Like I did with my QAnon friend. I did not do that. She was, Karen's going on a better track this time. And maybe she's going to report back that her friend's going to be so much better. And, and, but, but it was the same kind of thing where a person, was looking up alternative uh, uh, treatments, uh, alternative medical solution. And then they had an extended period of time where they were isolated. They started watching the commercials in the YouTube videos. They started getting fed ever more extreme videos. And a year later, this person is sitting across the table from me saying nonsense. Yeah. Um is there any evidence? Um, no. Okay. Uh, uh, no. no uh, uh, I was wondering about uh, what if the uh, um, YouTube, etc., algorithms put, say, half and half for and against any any position. That'd be interesting. Except I, that would mean they'd have to evaluate the the thing, and I don't think YouTube looks at them. And to be honest with you. There's, there's like a, like 10, 1% is critical and 99% is like, God. so, so it'd be way too hard to do, but I don't think YouTube really looks at it, but that, you know, they've got just like, um, Oprah Winfrey, they've got a lot to be accountable for. I mean, you know, giving it, it's just, oh, oh Gail's not here yet, right? Okay. Kevin's not here yet. Peggy's here. Peggy, you know, you're doing a category, right? Okay. And Carl, you already know. And Jamie, you already know, right? Yes. Are you okay to go first, Jamie? Oh, okay. yeah, I'd be happy to. Okay. Yes. And Carl, is that what your name is today? Dead oh, Carl. Right. <laughs> we used to know him so well. Hi, Kevin. Oh, there's Kevin. Okay, right, he's here. Wait. Now he's in three. Oh, there's someone I let in. I don't know who Ugh. it is. Who? I don't know. We'll see in a second. All right. You know, it's interesting about it. like everybody's out of body experiences is they're still know, generally it, constrained it, by the physical there. perceptions of the change. body. Like nobody they says I had an out of body experience and I saw and radio and waves and ultraviolet gamma rays. Like I had an out of body experience, but I still saw things as if I had eyes. Kevin, mute yourself, please. I can hardly hear Carl. I got him. Oh, here comes Janine. Oh, maybe that's who I let in. I no, know. no, I just let her in right now. Carl. Oh, yeah. your volume was kind of low and Kevin was jumping on top of you. So I didn't even hear what you said. What did you say? Yeah, say it again. Blah, 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 blah. What I was saying was what's interesting about body experiences is that they're generally constrained to the human body experiences. Nobody says, I had an out of body experience and I could see radio waves and gamma rays and I could hear ultrasound and mm. like everybody sees, but only in the visible spectrum that they see with their eyes when they're in their body. I would, need mushrooms I, would for that. I would hesitate to say nobody says that, but well, you're probably right. At least the majority. Now that you told them that everybody's yeah. going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I worked with somebody mm -hmm. who, who swore to me that he did out of body experiences all the time. And uh, instead of just poo pooing it, I said, okay, let's do a test. So I, you know, I picked two cards randomly from a 52 card deck. I put them face up on the top of my entertainment center. And I said, okay, you know, tell me what they are. I'll give you a couple of months. And all of a sudden he stopped being able to do it. <laughs> Amazing. You, you and those bad negative person, waves, you. man. Yeah, you bad juju. <clears throat> you got bad juju is right. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, a, there's a skeptic force field over my house. Do you guys see the post I put up today? Of the woman on TikTok, who's a medium, she's, her and I've been in conversation. It's the woman who's been saying she wants to have a live Facebook live with me. Oh, and she's yeah. read Mark's book and she read Psychic Mafia and she did a TikTok and she didn't tag me on TikTok. And that's rude, but you know. So I said, she, she, the last message I got from her, because I keep saying, so when are we going to do this? 
it's been like three weeks now. And she said, well, I don't know if it's worth it, you know, what I mean? but she posted on her Twitter or TikTok feed that she wanted to talk to me and people watch it. And her fans were like, oh yeah, we'd love to see that. So I'd love to see it, have a nice, respectful conversation with the medium. And she thinks some mediums are fake, but she, she thinks she can do it. And I think she's just cold reading. She doesn't realize it, but this, she's one of the first mediums I've ever seen that's actually taking a deep dive into exploring stuff. She's reading the critical books and it's really interesting because um, you, you feel like if we're just have a good conversation with her, we might end up getting somewhere where she might just be a good ally to, she to could, go back. She, could, back. she sounds like a rare medium to me. Uh, 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 I think she's uh, she she having some Oh no, there she is. Yeah, there she is. Right there. What were you saying? She could be oh, a psychic Kenny was... Biddle. You know, that's true. If you can get him over from that side, it, or at least partly, here comes Gail, then you would have that feeling of having um it would just be it would be hel helpful, you know, because you'd have um, you know, their insight and they might have a little more pull like to this. uh and you don't, Say, you, know, far. you don't have to but go as far. You don't have to go as far as Kenny Biddle. We have somebody here right here today. Carolyn. Carolyn. That's true. That's right. But Carolyn's so busy. Yeah. So this, this so this medium would become like this uh, woman, Brit, someone who was uh, a natural. Oh, Brit guy. Hermes? Yeah. Okay. yeah good analogy. You're right. You're right. It would be like that because they would be able to see what it was that they had done, you know, how they fooled themselves they could you know okay. that kind of thing room five cool so yeah anyway so she's she still thinks that you can um people have been uh uh finding kids or helping the police kevin did you get my email today uh an email yeah i sent you an email. You probably a get i somehow ended up in a breakout room <laughs> that it's it's not important I don't remember seeing an email from you. No, it's not important. Well, if you send me an email, I'd like to get it. I don't, I don't remember seeing it. No, it's it's just, I had a birthday on Monday. So. Oh, did you really? Yes. I don't remember you seeing that. <laughs> okay, so we've got two today. Mm -hmm. All right, we have. Okay, so I'm glad you told me because we want to make sure we don't miss anybody. So, okay, I'm yeah, going to join. Think. I'm going to join room five. Okay, and I think everybody's assigned. You're in room two, Robin. Uh, sorry, Kevin, you should be in room three. I don't have an invitation to join a room. Yeah, you do. It's probably hiding underneath something. Okay. See it?
I forgot to stop recording. So all that time, they just recorded me, recorded us, just nobody doing anything. Hi, Gail. You're on, you're on Moody. We I have a round I, tonight. You know that, right? Yeah, I I just realized I needed to put my background in. Oh, ah, look at because you! I Ms. always have a I always have a hint in the background. Right? You're all professional now. A few months ago, you no, couldn't do that. I'm not really because I haven't figured out. I figured out how to put in a new background, but I haven't figured out how to turn one off. That's why I've learned. The oh, background. you just turn you turn it to none. There is no none. Yeah, you have to scroll up. Should be the first option. Yeah, but whenever you've started putting oh, backgrounds in, in the back thing, if there is a none. Okay. Yeah, it just it defaults to the very bottom, I think. And I've noticed that too. I had to scroll all the way to the top to find the none. Look yeah. now, Gil knows everything. No, I'm getting closer though. Yeah, Eventually, Carl, that looks great. Getting closer to knowing everything. I like that. He's getting there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say I was going to make it. I just thought I was getting closer. Closer, yes. Well, that's it. Important distinction. Who else is, is everybody here? Hi, Janine. Hi. So everybody who's within the sound of my voice, who's near Monterey County, if you want to come over Easter and you don't have plans, I think we're going to try to do some um, hang out, maybe play Alan, games or something. Alan's I'm coming. working on the railroad on Easter. So uh, if you're uh, closer to if you're well, close all to all us, all day. Day, yeah. we have skeptics in the pub if you're close to us. Oh, uh, yeah. If you guys are in the Oregon area, you can go over there. You can go. We're in Eugene. We'll be in Eugene. Alan can join our group because we only have three people. We only have three. Oh, Alan's here. Hi, Alan. Um, Hi, Alan. Ben uh, should be on soon. Uh, baby brother's not coming tonight, Susan. She, he told you, I think. Yeah, and, he's... Yeah. He crapped out. He said, "He said he's played too much Wordle." And it, and Bob said it's because he had such a he's embarrassed from last week. Great. He's afraid to show his face is what I said. Yeah, he's afraid to show his face. That was good. He, I liked his category. Well, yeah. you tell him. <laughs> but he did. He did the. He did that crossword. The the, uh, the crossword convention or whatever it was last week and got whooped. He oh. got whooped. Whooped. Really. Oh. That's got to be disappointing. Ooh. Well, that's no. He, he goes in expecting that. Those guys are so good. Yeah. Good. The Simpsons did that. There's Ben. Cool. Well, ben. if you're watching, Ron, you're missed. And good going on the big crossword thing. And we'll see you on Thursday. There you Next go. Karen's the sweetest, isn't she sweet? She is. Sweetest sugar. She never is the sweetest. That's she why sweet. we love her. He thinks she's she Swedish. Yep. <laughs> no, I said the sweetest. Not some braids. No. Not some braids. She, her real name is Heidi. I said the sweetest. Heidi Arajo. Oh. oh. That's too funny. Okay. So Karen, you you want to come over and play games or something? How about you, Cindy? She's talking, but I have no idea what she's saying because she's she's muted. Uh, sure. Okay. Just, uh, tell me what time? Lunchish time. Which is lunchish time? 12 ish. 12, 1. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to figure out what to eat. Hey, Robin, you two are around. We can make Peggy. a buck. I, a a, a I don't want it to be party. that formal. Huh? I have a no. big party on Saturday, so I don't know if I can. I have to clean my house sometime this weekend. Oh, no. Why is that? No. Well, that's overrated. <laughs> yeah. Peggy, you're welcome to also go. Or you can send that. We'll yeah, see you can send George over, Peggy. Thank you, Susan. I have I have friends from out of town coming for the weekend. What and is it with you? You have people coming over all the time. Is it like a hostel? <laughs> are you are you surprised she has friends? No, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised wild. she has friends. But friends. They always are over. No, they're not. We almost never get to see Peggy because she's except here because she's always got somebody at her house. Well, it's because where you live, they all are like, oh. People want to visit, so I don't have to go visit them. That's cool. Oh, a, and a, a brief Avi report. He is now living in Leipzig. So he has moved from Mannheim to Leipzig, and he'll be Ooh. there for the next Why? year and a half. Why is that? 
Well, no, he'd finished the he'd finished what he had to do. Then he he really yeah, didn't enjoy. He, he, was, he was by himself the whole time. But uh, this is gonna be very exciting because he's he's doing a lot of collaborations and he's he's hooked up with a, a math institute and so he's doing lots of hieroglyphics for the next year and a half. Is that some place on the map I have here? Like oh, maybe, room. maybe. What do you got there? Why does Rob have a picture of Germany? Is he doing a category tonight? Yeah, no. World War II. <laughs> right. No, uh, Rob does oh, not yeah, have I see a Leipzig. Category. Leipzig is just to the right of the word Germany, actually. Okay. West Which of Dresden. He was uh, former, formerly East Germany. All right. So let's do our categories tonight. We have Jamie, Jane from Oregon, Jim and Rob. What is your team name tonight? <laughs> Say that out loud, Jamie. Yeah. A, Say it out loud. Oh, Trump's plane will be re Trump's plane will be renamed Con Air. That's good. <laughs> very nice. Very That's nice. good. That's very good. Okay, Carolyn, Karen, Kyle, Robin, and Gail. Sweet dreams are made of Carl. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> For anybody who wasn't here when we were chatting, I and Brandy both had dreams that Carl was in them. And mine, he died. And 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 uh, Brandy's, I think he was murdered by Carl, a Kyle or something. Is that what it was? Is that no, he wasn't murdered. He was oh, fine. Oh. He, was he was just, just taking pictures. Disappeared. <laughs> He survived one. He survived okay. that one. Mine, he's dead. He has a heart condition. Better get that checked out. Um, Bill, Brandy, yeah. Perry, Troy, and Kevin. I don't think we decided on one. Is that true? That's, that's a good name. You, you had one job. <laughs> no. I'll talk back to you in a second. Four we seconds had, left. It was four seconds left, and we still don't have a name. Four seconds to go <laughs> was the last thing we said. Four seconds to go, and we still don't have a name. Good name. That's, That's a good a name. Boring name. I wanted something clever. And Four not seconds to go is clever. clever. We'll change it next round then. How's that? Okay. All right. So uh, Bob, Peggy, Janine, and Ben. <laughs> who, who of us was going to give it? I'll, I'll say it. Oh, there we go. Good. A porn <laughs> star, a playboy bunny, and a doorman walk into a courthouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See That's good. Oh, and I was so disappointed to find out that the doorman story was actually not true with about a mm. about a baby that he had fathered. I was so glad, was I was so sad that it wasn't true. And then I was like, "Yeah, no baby needs that." So maybe it's I'm glad. Yes, but, yeah. <laughs> no, be, because he's he's probably paid for a whole lot of abortions. He didn't have a. Oh, he I, didn't hadn't, I hadn't heard that yet. Yeah, well, when, when he when he gets to heaven, there'll be a lot of babies there to greet him. Oh. He ain't getting to heaven. What are you talking about? Cindy, Carl, well, Vincent, and Alan, you will be on this team. What is your team name? Our team name is I Still Have the Powers. I Still Have the Powers. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's so yeah. You don't have so no good. name until I see it in the oh, chat. There sorry, you go. sorry, oh, sorry. I forgot to press enter. Oh, well. Some powers you have. I All know. right, so here we are tonight on uh, old, so. game 155. So we've got 155 <laughs> season three. We're on episode 46, which is really getting up there, you guys. We're really, it's 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 getting scary here now. Um, I I invited somebody else, uh, the guy who's going to be running the Santa Cruz area skeptics, which is just starting up a brand new group. So um, I'm hoping our Monterey County skeptics, as soon as he gets his his um, group together. We're going to be able to start doing some things over in the Santa Cruz area. I think that'll be a lot of fun. We'll do, you know, some traveling over there and do some field trips, I guess. So everybody keep that in the back of your, if your marbles. And so we have tonight, we have five teams that are competing against each other this week of 155. And the teams that are playing tonight are Trump's plane will be renamed Con Air versus Sweet Dreams Are Made of Carl versus Four Seconds to Go. And we still don't have a name. 
versus a porn star, a Playboy bunny, and a Gorman walk into a courthouse versus I have the powers. I still have the powers. Whatever. It didn't fit the song. <laughs> I still have the power. Okay, so we have tonight, we're being led by five people. So who is going to win tonight? Which of these teams is going to going to Carl, I just noticed your background. That's odd. Okay. Uh, we have Jamie. I know what it means. We have Gail. We have Kevin. We have Peggy. And then we're followed up with a bonus by the stapler dude. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are all ready to play? All right, Jamie, I am going to find you. There you are. Okay. This, this stapler are. has been a, has been part of the thing in the past, hasn't no. it? Really? Is it office space? No, maybe it's yes, fire. yes, it's from okay. the office. Oh, maybe it's inventions or okay. things that the are red. You can put things you can put uh, in your pocket. Jamie, you're up. You'll see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you help me mute everybody? No, that's um, Vincent's job. Yeah. Okay. You want me to mute everybody now? After he says what he's doing. After the. Yeah, well, a while ago, Rob did a very interesting category about his professional life. My category focuses on my extensive career. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Muting okay. all right now. Okay. Didn't work. It did work. Okay. All set. Okay, here we go. Number one, as an aerospace engineer in the US over 40 years ago, I was developing the guidance electro-optics for an international missile-based defense system. The project was in coordination with this very well-known European aviation company, the developer of the world's first operational jet-powered fighter and the first mass-produced manned rocket-propelled aircraft during the Second World War. What is the original name of this historic European company? Okay. Number two. Having transferred to the company's R&D division in California as a physicist, I developed optical sensors for missile guidance applications, sensitive to the longer wavelength band of light just beyond what the human eye can see. What is this band of light called? <clears throat> Number three, much of the 1980s was spent in Israel as a physicist developing optical sensors for thermal imaging, night vision, and weapons guidance applications. This involved growing special semiconductor crystals from hot molten supersaturated liquid solutions. The process is similar to how a particular candy is produced. First introduced in the ninth century, this popular candy was described by Shakespeare as a throat soother for long-winded talkers. Name this candy. Number four. The production of these semiconductor crystals employed the use of high pressure, highly toxic mercury and other heavy metal vapors. Great care was taken to maintain personal and environmental safety. Outside the facility lived a lone Bajuan Arab in his tent alongside his donkey. We observed the health of his donkey daily as our canary in a coal mine. What rock band released this song in 1980? <clears throat> Number five. Our ultra-modern state-of-the-art company was the first to be built in a new high-tech industrial park within view of the ancient walls of the old city of Jerusalem. 
The contrast was astounding. First destroyed in 587 BC by the Babylonians, the walls were rebuilt, only to be destroyed again in 70 AD by the Romans. Most of the old city walls now standing were rebuilt in what century? Number six. <clears throat> For almost 30 years, I was the director of technology for Newport Corporation, a major photonics company near Boston, specializing in thin film optical components, which spectrally tune, filter, and detect light. Our company was a major sponsor of this popular TV comedy show on CBS. Having built a scientific laboratory stocked with Newport produced lasers and instruments where many scenes were filmed. Name this TV show. Name the show. Number seven. <clears throat> These thin film optical components have countless commercial and military applications. They are critical for high speed blood chemistry analysis instruments able to, form, to perform hundreds of different blood tests, such as infectious disease detection, such as COVID, hormone levels, kidney and liver function, drug screening, et cetera. After centrifuging drawn blood to extract its nearly transparent plasma, test specific chemicals are added to the fluid which biochemically react, creating a color change. The fluid is subsequently analyzed optically what is the general term used for these chemicals which are added to the blood sample? Number eight. In 2010, the Chinese government sponsored a project for us to co-develop a low cost handheld optical based instrument able to detect a toxic chemical, which was found to have contaminated infant formulas. What was the name of this toxic chemical? <clears throat> sea turtle hatchlings use moon or starlight reflecting off the sea to properly orient themselves when emerging from their sandy beach egg nests. Artificial street lights though, near shorelines, sometimes causes these hatchlings to become disoriented and wander inland, often leading to their deaths. One application of my technologies was to develop specially optically coded lenses to cover street lights, which selectively block only those specific colors which are visible to these hatchlings. They're able to finally enter the sea, less than one in a thousand will survive adulthood. So on the average, how many eggs do sea turtles lay at one time within plus minus 25? So sweet, what a sweet story. Aw, yeah. humans aren't all bad. No. Okay. And number 10. <clears throat> These thin film optical components are also used for cancer detection and biopsies, barcode readers, paint color matching, food sorting, traffic and pollution monitoring, UV water purification, fire detection, et cetera. In 2017, Britain issued new redesigned one pound coins to replace their current issues due to a high level of counterfeiting. For security, these new coins contain fluorescent crystals, which are detected by instruments using our company's components. How many of the old coins in circulation were fake? A, one out of every 125 coins. B, one out of every 85 coins. C, one out of every 35 coins were fake. And D, one out of every 15 coins were fake. That's all folks. Interesting. Okay, very good.
I wonder if Gail's okay. going to be the expert on this. So we'll find out. <laughs> Gail, I feel like I'm on the Titanic right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those. All right. So, um, hey, the so two minutes in the store rooms, or Jamie doesn't matter. Can you help me with this? I can and will. Okay. As soon as I, oh, no. no. Okay, I've got a few people to put in their rooms, right? Okay. Ben, oh, you, you have Rachel and Jordan. Cool. Hi, Deborah. So yeah, the ben, kids are on spring be... break, so they're uh, joining. Hello. Me. Okay, so you are on room four, which is a porn star, a Playboy bunny, and a doorman walk into a courthouse. Yeah. And Deborah, you're in team one, which is planes. Trump's plane. Trump's plane will be renamed Con Air. <laughs> Alan, you are on. I still have the powers in room five. All right, have fun, you guys. Wow, that's a loud cat. Is that yours, Rob? Yeah, I gotta go feed her. <laughs> Gosh, oh, um, Deborah, don't let me forget. You weren't here whenever I was telling everybody that anybody within the vicinity uh, is welcome to come over on thanks Thanksgiving, Easter. Right. Okay, I, I may do that. I bought peeps. Oh God! Well, that would keep me away, actually. <laughs> I <laughs> thought I read that they were going to stop making those. Marsha Post like just did an article on peeps. You know, production of peeps coming off the conveyor belts and stuff. And I and I watched. I said I haven't had peeps for like I don't know ten years or something. So I saw them at the store and I said I'm going to get some peeps. People are coming over. They're going to help me eat my peeps. Those are disgusting. I do. They they're are. really cute. I also read an article that some people just love them, and then the rest of us just hate them. So like, you're it's like black licorice. <laughs> I love black licorice. I like candy corn if it's good. You can have the peeps and miss those Mr. Peanut thingies. Oh, circus peanuts. Where's Faith? Does is that P? Is that P E E P S? I'm trying to think. Yeah. -E -P -S. Yeah. There's a website I saw years ago where people staged the peeps in like <laughs> yeah, like doing little little scenes and stuff. Well, I've got enough colors, Deborah. We could do that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's um, better than eating them, probably. Well, you, you can play with your food. I don't care. Let's let's, <laughs> let's go. All right. So I think we're supposed to be doing this. I know one. I yeah, I don't think I have one. one. I oh, came in too late. So what, what was question I gave one? it to you, Deborah. Did you, you didn't see Oh, I see one? him. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I see him. Sorry. Okay. So, um, okay. So I know, I, one of the so answers, I know that two not... is in the red. Uh, uh, and you I say you know what three. one is? No, I know what three is. I know number three, too. There's three, it's three taffy. No, no, it's not three, I know. There's three it taffy. Is... Oh, it's not number three. It's number four. I know four. four. It's number four. That's the one. Yeah, I'm... darn it. The, both of us know it's Devo, right? Oh, no. I was going to say the police. Canary in a coal mine? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. So we'll have to just. Wait a second here. One, because I don't, I'm not really. We'll just have to pick one of those. That you... Okay. Oh, dear. Canary in a coal okay. mine? Okay. So, no, uh, okay. so nobody knows what number one is. Two is infrared. Three, does anybody have a guess? There's taffy. Well, I was wondering, does anybody, what's, what's rock candy? Rock lobster. <laughs> um, I, I, rock, rock candy came to my mind, but I don't actually know what that is. I, I know what it looks like. It's um, hard crystallized. Yeah, it's crystal little. And I thought that sounded like something that would be like really old. Well, toffee is does toffee fit? Well, it does if you say that it's the long-winded toffee. Yeah, no, 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 toffee like, this, like, like a throat soother. Have you ever bought like like rock candy? It's on a string. Oh, I've seen it like as a hard candy that you would suck on. Oh, well, you would suck on it, but when when we used to go to like uh, um, I think oh, it was it like on a stick. Yeah, on well, a... but no, it was on, they were they were on strings, kind of like they, they they have it on different ways. Yeah. Okay. Right, right, I'm sure they do. Sometimes yeah. it's on a stick. I thought the answer was peppermint, 
but but because Kathy because, might be because says long winded talkers and other shuts okay, them up. But, because okay, the part about this involved growing a special semiconductor yeah. crystals from okay uh, super saturated liquid. That sounds like you've got a hot water with uh, uh, as sugar much sugar as you it, could get in it. And, and, yeah, and, and then as you let it, and then as it cools, the crystals. It, so there's a particular kind of name for that, and it's not just what you said. I forget what it's called. When it, uh, what is that called? It'll come to me. I hope. Well, let's let's do okay, another. Okay. Well, let's go on to four. Well, that people Rock. try to remember. Rock. The process of. So that's either going to be the police or Devo. Can you tell? Remind me of the police song. Well, the, isn't the song? Yeah. Isn't the song the name he gave? Can I call mine? Yeah, but what? But, but yeah, but what's but, the band but, 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 in the eighties? Nineteen eighty. Yeah, but she said, "Remind me of the song." I don't understand the question, Susan. Well, she wants to know how it sound, how how it goes. Like, yeah, so I can see if I can remember if that's the one I'm thinking because I'm thinking of the one by Devo that that did work in in a coal mine going down down down. No, down, no, 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 no. That's, that's a really that's really old song. not Devo. I don't think that's Devo. And no, so, well, that's, that's Devo. That's not Canary in a coal mine. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. So the name's different. Okay, Kevin. All right. What oh, answer? You said the police. It's it's a. Uh, uh, Jane, what answer is but it? She have? says it's a police. The police. Okay, I, that, that sounds more 1980s. Let's put that down. Now I got this <clears> song <throat> in my head. Now number, now number five. Uh, I would guess something like maybe the fourth century or something like the uh, when their uh, the Ro Roman Empire is getting a little, little less. Secure, and they decide to. Uh, the, hey, guy, what do you what do you call the candy from, that's uh, like you know sh sugar? It's just wall. basically sugar that congeals out of a liquid. What is that called? We can like hear Rob. I'm going to mute something. him. He's well. He's asking about the question. Oh, no, I know. He's asking know. his wife. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So I'm guessing something like fourth century. We might as well put that. It's a wild guess unless someone happened to know it. Yeah. Okay. So six. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Fourth century, fifth century. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see. Forth. There was a really massive war between the Persians and the Romans uh, that weakened both empires and, uh, and, and left them open to the uh, Muslim conquests. It was maybe the fifth. So you yeah. change it, you're changing it. You want to change the fifth? Uh, yeah, but the, but uh, the Roman whole the whole empire was getting a bit less secure. So gotta uh, take a wild guess. Yeah, what the heck? five or four? Oh, let's let's go let's go with the fifth. Okay, question six. What was the TV show? You guys know? It's a comedy. I have no idea. I was gonna say <laughs> science fiction. If it was a science laboratory, stock was popular comedy comedy show. With stuff uh, with, with a laboratory in it. Yeah. Uh, uh, no per, 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 perhaps it was some hospital based uh, show. Uh, that, Com it's a co comedy, though. Not yeah, many hospitals. Yeah, comedy. but uh, they weren't very funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not uh, back in the 50s. Well, with a laboratory. Well, sort of uh, uh, have some elements of comedy in it. <laughs> well, oh, well. Hmm. CBS. Scientific. You didn't give the With time frame. Uh, instruments. Well, it was at least thirty years ago because it was this. Well, is it was a major sponsor? Yeah, it's, so it's probably at least twenty years ago. So the nineties. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Okay, a very popular CBS it's a laboratory TV show that had uh, lasers and. Well, cement. the show lasted for thirty years. Oh, no, no, no. He, no that's, he was there for 30, 30 years. Okay, <clears throat> which show could it be? Comedy. I have no idea. CBS. And most of the comedies back then were like, they were in your pe people's apartments and stuff. I can think of like shows that have, have that kind of stuff, but I can't yeah. think of like, you know, The Incredible Hulk. because Yeah, I was thinking, movie. I was wondering about but like... they're not comedies. I wonder... But I, Mark I, Mindy? We need to know, like, yeah. how, an era, yeah, like, sure what, what years the show was on. <sighs> the 90s, I think. The cat's still hungry, Rob. <laughs> it's four different kinds of foods out, I think, there's some problem. Yeah. Oh, none of my cats want to eat. Wait, you over. 
I do two kinds. I, I just do dry food. Though. They suffer. They, <laughs> they get dry food. That's all they get. They can eat that whenever they want. Nobody feeds anybody around here. Not even each other. <laughs> Mark and I don't sit, sit for meals or anything. Well, let's skip, let's skip this one because we're not going to get it. Uh, but that's the one we should know. What do we think? But we don't. And who's going to call us back soon? And we have four this to go. Okay. You think about seven. I'm going to think about six still. Because I won't know anything about blood. Is, as, hey, you guys, is, is seven reagent? That sounds good. Oh, I, I, I was thinking antigen, but go with reagent. Yeah. I like that, Deborah. Eight, eight, eight. Chinese government project. Okay, uh, so there was a time when when this stuff called melamine was was it's actually a cabinet material, but they actually purposely put it in baby formula because wow, it, it's detected as protein even though it isn't. Wow. But I don't know if that was what it was, but it wasn't a, a contaminant. But it's that makes it sound like it was accidental, but it it really wasn't. How I think they spell, put it in pet food too. How do you spell so that? That's word? awful. Yeah. <laughs> How do you spell this? Mel Mel I mean, melamine. Best phonetically. Melamine. I don't know. Okay. -E -E. Oh, somebody else got another idea. No. All right. Now, now we just have to guess at numbers for nine and ten. Um, okay. So ten. Okay. <laughs> does, yeah. does uh it is? Mm. Mm. I was I thinking. Think I, was, about uh, I, I was thinking maybe a hundred, and then. I think they lay about a hundred eggs. Yeah. I mean they're. Or maybe you know, there's the more. I mean, they, they can't have thousands in there. Turtles aren't in limitless in size. Right. <laughs> I watched a pond turtle lay eggs one time, and they laid about I don't know, twenty five or thirty, but they were little. Yeah, I think a hundred's a little too big for a sea turtle. Oh. Might depend on how big the turtle they're, itself they're is too. Big. Yeah, those they are kind of big. Hundred yeah. eggs, one, two, three, four. We don't know how much room they have in there for eggs. So. That seems freaking a lot of room. Have you seen those? I wrote down. Have you seen those um, like videos where you know then they all I've the seen baby them, I've turtles seen them come out? out yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And see. they're too cute. Yeah. I know. The, the The babies are pretty tiny compared to the uh, to the mummies. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll go with a hundred, and. Uh, yeah. It's weird the way he wrote it. It doesn't matter though. But if they're finally able to enter the sea, less than one in a thousand. So that's interesting because yes, some of them get killed by birds on the way to the sea. So yeah, they get picked off. Right. So it's weird that the number isn't how many eggs, you know, how many are born and survive. They limit it to now they count how many got to the sea. And so it's a weird way to do the the, the math. Like it doesn't matter for the ones that get killed by birds. <laughs> We're going to only do the math on the ones that make it to the sea. That's weird. <laughs> I don't get I don't it. Because really. okay. we don't know anyway. Number ten. Um, I don't know. Wild guess. Any, anybody get got got something better than wild guess? No. No, I put down B, but I don't know why. Okay, I'll just <laughs> okay. I'll I'll go for B. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, for question six. Yes. I, I come up I with some names of things that probably were about the same time, so maybe it'll jog your memory. But they, I don't think it's them. <laughs> but Three's Company, uh, Designing Women. Um, and the one with the women that lived in Florida together that had Betty White on it. What was that called? Oh, yeah, yeah. Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. Golden Girls. But none, of, but none of these have laboratories. No, but I'm, I was hoping, I, yeah, I know, but I was hoping maybe to jog your memory. It was about that time, I think, and it would be, you know, on one of those channels. So, like, maybe before or after it, or, but they're comedies like that. So, right. it's probably a situational comedy like that with lasers and. That had some sort of instruments in the room for some reason. Mm. What else was around that time? I mean, I used to watch Designing Women. I used to watch mm. the Golden Girls a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe for time. Huh. Uh, Reese Company was maybe a little around there. Yeah. Uh, Do we yeah. have question one? Yeah. No, I don't. What, what did you put for one? Let's see. Big Bang Theory came much later in the. Mm -hmm. But that—that's a good guess. Big Bang Theory was that on CBS? Yes. Let's put Big Bang Theory because. Yeah. It's it's probably later, but we don't know. I just he, I just I, guessed I, the nineties. I don't think that he's indicating a time period at all. No, and he's not. It, so that it could have. It could be the Big it Bang. Could theory. be the Big Bang Theory. It, he's not saying that he was present during 
Yeah, yeah, no, we, yeah. Could, yeah. we could do this because sometimes they went to the lab. Leonard, Leonard's lab, we saw uh, Wallowitz's lab, we saw sometimes. It's possible. He's not saying that he even worked there when no. they produced this show. No, I like that. I like that answer. And it wasn't yeah. it wasn't Seinfeld or anything like that, right? No, they, they wouldn't have lasers like anywhere. I no. never saw it. But what was those women in the Manhattan that had a Sex in the City? I never saw that. Either. Oh, Sex in the City, yeah. It was like no publishing had... company. No, I no, Big Bang Theory is a real good answer. Theory. I think Big Bang Theory is a good. All right, back to one. Especially with CBS. So, what is the year? I should freaking know this. Aerospace engineer, European company. Oh, you're going back to one? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only, the only one, one have we don't have, for. right? The well on European aviation. Uh, uh, Krupp? Original. Was the, uh, yeah. Did Krupp produce the first? Or just thinking first World War II. Rocket propelled aircraft. Rocket Krupp. propelled aircraft. Did, uh, no. They were German. They were then, but they were more armaments, uh, I think. Yeah. But. Uh, well, of course, yeah, of the aviation company. What's the. I think we've had this answer before. It wasn't for the same question, but I think there was a, you know, an old like aviation company that was a part of a, a different question <coughs> oh. a year ago oh, wait or a more. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Okay. Oh, European aviation countries, companies. So that could be, uh, okay could be any okay uh rocket oh, oh i got three rock three it's called it's called rock salt okay. right rock number three salt. is that what you call the candy i was called rock salt candy rock yeah candy. i was calling it rock candy i think there it's just rock, rock candy salt, that's that, yeah rock salt's different it's something you buy for your driveway or your pool yeah. something right. Right. Yeah, water right. Softener. So three would be rock. Yeah, yeah, rock candy for three. Candy. Okay, let's yeah. do That's okay. good. Good. We pulled that out of the hat. I used to make my parents buy it for me, or I used to try. Anyway. Yeah, I remember. Put it on you. your driveway? Rock candy. This is no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't freeze here, really, so. In Carmel? Yeah. No, no, it, we don't do that here. I have yeah, I know. <laughs> my driveway. Oh, oh, I, 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 I live there. I live here. Can I eat that? Here. that? We're done. You're done. Oh, uh, yeah. wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, do uh, do we have something for one? I don't think we do. Uh, wait a minute. I have well, a... we're close to being done. You can give the two minutes, Jamie. Okay, yeah. I I tell that to Vincent. He'll do it. Or no, just close the rooms. Can you do it? No, I can't do it. No. Okay, I'll do it right now. Okay, number one, uh, first operational jet powered fighter. I. I'm tr I try to remember whether that was on the, on Germany or or England that did that. Coordination with a well-known European. We're in one. What is the original name of the story? Gee, I gee, I, I remember this uh, novel set at near the end of World War One, and uh, in Britain, and a. Uh, jet one of these early jet aircrafts lands at the airfield there and near the end of the story uh this was uh world war one no world war two i mean sorry world war two yeah yeah right yes anyway set yeah set in world war two uh arthur arthur c clark was helping developing helping you develop radar for landing in fogs and things mm. like that really i didn't know he did that yeah. I thought he just wrote. He was uh, smart too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, do we have any I, names of any yeah. companies? Yeah. But uh so uh, so who what, less than a minute. Yeah. So when I think it's coming to mind. Just just name name a com a company from say England that would possibly have done it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh yeah, Bel -Air. yeah but, uh, Oh, how about that uh, uh, Rolls? Was airplane Rolls? company? Did, did the... Rolls Royce do do that? Ooh. Maybe. They do. Did okay. they do engines before they got into cars? Sure. Uh, uh, yeah. I think I, I think they got into uh, in, into uh, air aircraft after after they got into cars. But anyway, okay. So I think it's a good guess. I mean, it's yeah, a guess. yeah, yeah. Rolls, yeah, Rolls, Rolls Royce has been into aircraft. <laughs> Dude. All right, let's use that then, since we don't yeah. have anything else. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they were there. I first think we did pretty good. I first thought it was German, but I can't think of any German companies. Yeah. Mercedes-Benz. Oh, 
Oh, Rolls Royce. Yeah. Okay, good job, team. Oh my God. It was just <laughs> us, and then everybody just started Malau. popping in. That's because the like, timer ran out. Like bubbles. That was good. That was good, Jamie. Okay. A nice mix. Even though it was about your company, it was yeah. about questions about things we, we might actually know. <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll, we'll find out that's true. Yeah, well, I think we did okay. Oh. Good. Well, okay, is everybody, is everybody all set? We will not be embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. we've got, okay. uh, well, we, we had a whole bunch of wild guesses, but yeah. <laughs> some of them might actually be right. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Uh, number one, the company which was the first, who manufactured the first jet powered fighter and the first manned rocket propelled aircraft, it's a German company, Messerschmitt. Okay. Can I'll you spell it, please? Oh. M E S S A S H I T. Yeah, M E S S E R S C H M I T T. Messerschmitt. They made the. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt. We have money riding on the bets on spelling. You need to be specific. Yeah. M E S S E R. Yeah. -E and then I think you won. Yeah. No, I said one S. You said two S. Yeah. You actually knew this yeah. one. Well, I'm yeah, impressed. Put a D in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Where's the bridge? And, and the planes in question are the Messerschmitt 262 and the 163. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the bridge? Okay. Okay. So. Uh, 163 plane. was the rocket. Yeah. The comet. Yeah. Yeah. So I had, if you notice uh, my question, I had to say the original name because everyone could have said Airbus. Because basically all these wow. European companies eventually became Airbus, yeah. but it was originally <laughs> it was originally Messerschmitt. Okay. Um, number two, the band of light, the band of light, which is just beyond what the human eye can see, is infrared. Oh, okay. Hey. Number three, what is the name of the candy, which is made by um, putting a string into a super saturated liquid? Of sugar, sugar and water is rock candy. Yep, <laughs> we went back exactly. and forth on that one. So what was if you the ever, other one? If you want to, if you want to have fun to make rock candy, you just take lots of sugar, dissolve it in water until it's saturated, um, cool it slightly, put a string inside, and your crystals will grow. When you grow semiconductors, it's exactly the same process. You heat up different metals, you put in a substrate, a wafer, you cool it, and the crystals will grow on the wafer. So the physics of making rock candy is the same as growing semiconductor crystals. Same idea. Yeah. Which is it's several centuries old. Yeah, so, but, but, the, you, but the physics are very similar. What were you debating about, Susan? What was the other one? Taffy. T taffy. <laughs> yeah, um. Taffy, no nope. rock candy. Number three, uh, no, number four, um, canary in a coal mine, that was the police. Yay! Jane got it. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it was Devo. Do you remember that song yeah. that was about the coal mine? Oh, yeah. Working in a coal mine, yeah. going down, Devo. down, down, oh, going down a coal mine. Yeah. That down. wasn't Devo. That's a really old song from the city. I swear it's really Devo. Old song. Oh, it was by a female. Uh, I was going to say. Oh, you're saying Devo re so. remade it? Was that? Yeah. Was that yeah. I only heard it as Devo. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, it's really well, old. Like, I never heard the Devo version. Yeah, I never heard the yeah. other version. <laughs> well, was I think it, it might was be it Men with Hats. Black singer. Hmm. Wouldn't yeah, I thought it was men with men, men, men with hats? Did they do that song? They wore those flower men without pots. Hats? Without hats. Yeah. But there was a band called Men with, with Hats. But this yeah. is yeah. Yeah. And without yeah. hats. Yeah. No, yeah. The, it's, and without hats. That's... Safety dance. Yeah. Yeah, the safety oh, dance. Safety dance. Yeah. Number five. Make that time more popular in the world. You're annoying, Rob. <laughs> okay, no, number out. five. <laughs> number five, the, um, the old city walls of Jerusalem were rebuilt by um, the Ottoman Sultan Suleiman, the Magnificent, in 1537, which was the 16th century. Oh, oh yes. not that one. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> my, guess, my guess was that the Romans would have done it uh, a, a few centuries later when they uh, were feeling a little more threatened. <laughs> Oh, no, 16th century. Number six, name the TV show. That was the Big Bang Theory. All right. Yay! Oh. The reason that went out, that was, yeah. that was tough because you didn't Big give a year. I did that intentionally. Yeah, well. I know. But, but, but going to YouTube, 
go into YouTube and look at Big Bang Theory and you'll see once in a while they'll be in a laboratory with all of our equipment stopped on it. The um, lasers number seven. did it for me. Hmm? The lasers that you mentioned is what lasers. did it for me because they used it those a lasers. lot. Once, once they actually had it, not in the laboratory, but on their roof, and they were going to like, they were going to go to the moon. Question six. And Penny's boyfriend thought they were going to destroy the moon if they hit it with a laser. Question seven. <laughs> uh, num number seven. The generic term for the chemicals which are added to blood samples for blood tests, they're called reagents. Yay. Oh, good job. Yeah. All right. Good call. Good and that's how um, biomedical companies such as Applied Biosystems, Abbott, Roche, um, they make their money by selling their consumable materials. They make their money by selling reagents. So they actually give away their instruments to laboratories and they make their money on reagents, make a fortune. Ah, the razor blade. Number, reagents. Number eight, uh, what was the toxic chemical that uh, we made the instrument to detect? I'll give you a couple of hints. One <laughs> that was done intentionally, that um, baby formula, was intentionally poisoned with this, and it led to many deaths. What? It also was found in yeah, it was also found in pet foods in America. Many dogs and cats died of pet food poisoning. Yep. So the chemical was melamine. Hey, Deborah. We had a dog get very sick from it. Yeah. Oh, why was it intentional? Jamie, why intentional? It's because what it does, what melamine does, is infant formula and dog food and cat food. They have to have a certain protein level. And melamine, what it does, it changes the readings of the instruments when they're measuring protein. So it wow. artificially raises the protein number. So baby formula companies in China, instead of using natural milk, they stuck melamine in in order to make the laboratories think that the protein level was higher than it actually was and it led to hundreds of babies getting killed. So they didn't intentionally try to kill babies. They were just trying to fool the no, they were they, they were just swapping. They didn't care about the baby. They were yeah. just making yeah. money. Yeah, that makes more sense. People who did it were executed. Really? Yeah, it's a very. And so the instrument we actually um, developed was a small. It only cost ten dollars. It's a handheld instrument that mothers can have this little instrument, and when they get baby formula, because you can't trust anyone there, they could actually test their baby formula after they make it and give it to the baby. They could test it to see if it has melamine or not. Oh, so, interesting. Uh, like, boy, you're saving like babies and you're saving pets and you're saving turtles. That's awesome. <laughs> what a what a yeah. nice guy you are, Jamie. I didn't know you were so nice. What have you done oh, for birds? You. Yeah, what about for birds? <laughs> birds aren't real. Birds aren't yeah, thank you. I was gonna say that. Birds aren't real. <laughs> but yeah. they are the word. Uh, the bird yeah. is the word. So, <laughs> one yeah. of them is. So number number nine. Number nine, on the average, how many eggs do sea turtles lay at one time? The answer is 110. Yes. We had that, and we changed it to a higher number, but still in range. Ditto here. Good job. So just a few team. years ago, just a few years ago, my wife and I traveled to Borneo. Bob. Yeah, we traveled to Borneo to watch the sea turtles lay eggs. So at two o'clock in the morning, you know, our little group of people went out on the beaches and we watched the turtles lay eggs. And it was a little embarrassing for the turtles, but we were standing there with flashlights watching the turtles lay eggs. Well, with uh, a number car, 10, no way. I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. Mama turtle has to build a, a, dig a real deep hole. She digs a big hole and pops out the eggs. It's quite fascinating. And then we actually uh, went to a hatchling facility where we took baby hatchlings we took them to the shore and we released the hatchlings into the sea. So we did that. It was fun. Uh, number 10, how many of the old one pound coins were fake? The answer is C, one out of every 35 coins were actually wow. fake. Aww. That was Huge a large number. Yeah, yeah, a third of the coins in circulation were fake. But now right. um, with our instrument, now it's basically stopped. You know, now there's no counterfeiting. <laughs> They had to be manufactured someplace other than Great Britain, though. Is, is that, was that plus or minus 20? Is that plus or minus? <laughs> I remember these were, yeah. yeah. But, but that's proprietary, but exactly the instrument. Um, these instruments are used in banks and ATMs to detect counterfeit coins, but they're, but it's um, proprietary with the British government, what the actual wavelength is a fluorescent 
type of dye that it works. So okay, let me, uh, I'll post the answers on the chat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple I don't know how to spell. Yeah, by the way, the working in the coal mine song, originally recorded in July of 1966, or released, I'm sorry, released in July 1966. <laughs> it was pop music, it was sung, it was written by a black man, Alan Toussaint, if I pronounce the last name right, sung by a black man, Lee Dorsey. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. so it is a pretty old song. Oh, that's interesting. I've it never heard it before. Looking it up in a Wikipedia. Oh, oh, I hear that's a good oh, site. Oh, and it does mention there is the Devo version, but I've never heard of the Devo version. That's you so know, cool. whatever Weird Al Yankovic comes out with songs, half of the time I've, no, almost 100% of the time, I've never heard the song before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this. Okay. Good job. Really good job. Good job. That was okay. good. 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 Good category. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to copy these answers in here real quick before I go to the scores because I did it on another screen. And I want to make sure I copy. For them. number one, we put Foker. I thought that was oh. a pretty good guess. That is that a good guess. Answer the guess. We didn't. Very good guess. We started with that and crossed it out. <laughs> okay. I, so I thought Messerschmitt was like too, too German. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go with the, the scores. I still have the power. Six. 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 Good score. A porn star, a Playboy Benny, and a doorman walk into a courthouse. Six. And four seconds to go. We still don't have a name. We'd, we'd like to change our name first. Can we do that? Yeah, put it in the chat. Okay. How many years? Got... I don't know. Oh. Nine. Okay. Nine. 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 Wow. Is that your name? Then no, you can't change your name. <laughs> or is that your new name? <laughs> What's your name? They're all Ooh. tied in. Nine. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just verboten. Noodles <laughs> <laughs> of noodles for McDoodles. McDoodle. 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 Okay, that's good. That's, that's right. better. Oodles of noodles for McDougal. Yeah, yeah, she won. She got one hundred fifty thousand dollars out of Trump. Yeah, the doorman made up a story oh, and he got 30, I think. All right, but you know what? The no, tax it's probably is, true. And he just took the money and, and they have to give it to the they have to give the lawyers a bunch, so they don't end up with a lot. It's not worth it. Sweet dreams are made of Carl. Six. six. Wow. Wow. Six, six. Okay, six. Trump's plane will re be renamed Con Air. Thank you, bro. Hi. You have the burner. Seven. How many? We had seven. Seven. Right. Hey, average is six point eight. That's that's really <laughs> decent. So who's gonna get the next person that comes in? Oh, that's a great question. Um, hopefully nobody. And um, us, us, us. next the next my, my, team, my team will probably be losing Vincent and most likely Alan. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. stay on the whole time. Oh, oh he's a sweetheart. Alan stay. will stay too. He's he's not leaving. He just <laughs> your brother's not here, so you have to stay. It's just a law. <laughs> we have to have a sterner president. We have to have a Steiner present at all times. Mm. If it's not one of you, somebody has to stay. It's just a law. I have to get one of those Isn't wrestling it? guys in here. He's a Steiner. We should we should have the disciplinary guidelines. I think there is. I think it's. A, I think it's in the rules somewhere. Somebody Parliament can rules. somebody look. <laughs> parliament rules. The what rules? Parliament Trump. rules. Oh, parliament, parliament rules. rules. Speaking of parliament, uh, oh. guess who's next? Here we what go. It's Gail. Hey, Gail, what you got for parliament, though? <laughs> what you got? Parliament rules, part two. Nope. No, you <laughs> can tell from my background what we're going to do, right? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, the up there in, in Massachusetts. Drowning. We're going to be doing the Titanic. Oh, it is the Titanic. It is the Titanic. Like the, like the Titanic the movies or the real thing or mm -hmm. just in general? We'll find out. Oh. A little of both, mostly the real thing. Okay. <sighs> Can I uh, mute people or what? Yeah. Did it hit a out. did it hit a lighthouse? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Right. No, but I hear that Punch and Judy were the lookouts.
And they didn't see the iceberg coming. They didn't see the iceberg. They they were too busy bopping each other. Exactly. No, Punch was yelling, okay. but nobody could understand him. Yeah, the sizzle stick. So, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. We're waiting. Okay, here we go. Number one. James Cameron won three Academy Awards for the movie Titanic in 1998. Which of the following was not one that he received? Number two. There were two sister ships to the Titanic. In fact, many of the photographs of Titanic are actually one of those sisters. Name one of them. Number three. This is a true or false. All of the passengers boarded the ship on April 2nd, 1912 in Southampton, England. Did you misspeak or did you miswrite? You nope, said eight. I did seven. not. I did not misspeak or miswrite. I thought you said eight. eight well, it's written as April twelfth there. Oh, it is April. April twelfth is the what it should be. I did not. If it's if I said something different, it was a mistake. What's on? What's written is what the answer is. Question four. There were three classes of passengers. Which of the following are not true? So one of them is not true. A, there was a large range of accommodation for the first and second classes with one kitchen cooking for both, although the first class meals were fancier. B, there were some pets on board and there was a kennel provided. Only a few small dogs stayed in the cabins with their first class passengers. C, there were over 100 children and 33 died, but only one of those children was first class. 53. B, there were very high winds that might have made the ocean waves very high. Many passengers were fearful of leaving the ship because of this. Okay. Question five is another true or false. It was widely believed that the ship was unsinkable because there were 16 compartments that could be closed if the hull was breached and the ship would stay buoyant as long as no more than four were affected. The ship sank because in an attempt to step around the iceberg, to steer around the iceberg, the iceberg scraped five of these compartments. And the unsinkable part is widely believed, doesn't mean literally. That's particularly for, uh, for Rob. <laughs> Rob's got a reputation. I, he's earned it. I think he's talking to his cat right now. Question six. Or he's petting the map or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I want to know. Question six. Oh, oh a cat. Okay. He's got it. The original design for the ship included enough lifeboats for everyone. Why were there only enough for about half of the actual number of people on board? And I'm giving you a hint. Unsinkable was known to be puffery. That is a legalistic word for people talked about it and claimed it, but nobody took it literally to be true. They knew it was a ship. In other words, the answer is not that the ship was unsinkable. That's the hint. Okay. Seven. Of the following actual people on the ship, who survived? These were all actual people on the ship. A, Captain Edward Smith. B, J. Bruce Ismay, the White Star Chairman. C, John Jacob Astor IV, the richest person on the ship. Or D, Ida Strauss, the wife of Isidore Strauss, who is the co-owner of Macy's Department Store. So one of these is one of them survived. It's true. Yep. One, one of these of is them survived. Which one was it? Okay. 
number eight. This is another true or false. One of the most emotive scenes in Cameron's Titanic portrays the third class passengers as being forcibly held below decks and prevented from reaching the lifeboats to give the first and second class passengers access first. Was this an accurate assessment based on the evidence given at the formal inquiries afterwards? Number nine. There were eight musicians who famously played as the ship sank. They hoped they could help stop the panic that ensued as passengers understood what was happening. They all died. The and musicians all died. Um, what compensation was given to their families from the White Star Company insurance? Plus or minus $5,000. Cumulatively or do you mean per person? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, per person. And question 10. There were 2,240 passengers and crew together. How many survived? Plus or minus 200. That's it. It's good, very good. Okay, Vincent or Gail? Yep, I got, got you. It. Oh, she got it. Okay, good job, team. Let's see what we got. Hello, team. All right. I never saw the movie. Wow, that was so popular back then. I know, that's oh. why I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> you don't do popular stuff? Cast Things that out. get too popular, I, I don't do them. Mark, Mark, uh, Caspian to stay It was worth it. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really like it. So the one I know for sure. The story is fiction. But yeah. I'm 99.9% .9 is number eight is no, or or number, yeah, number eight is no. Well, let's go down the list because I think I think we probably can make it between the all of us. Okay. Uh, the, the Academy Awards, what do you think? I'm just channeling Karen because you know that's what she's going to say. So it seems to me that he What's didn't the write the screenplay. The three Academy Awards for the movie Titanic, which was not the one he. What he Kyle did. said, they didn't get screenplay. Right, I guess I, not, I agree. I don't know. I agree. It went to it went to um, the actual writer. No, no, uh, yeah. another film. Um, Figures. What was the other film that was big at that time? Um, it would have been either depends if the award is the award for the year the film came out or the year the award's given. The year the film came out. Goodwill Hunting. Wow, is that that same year? Oh, because there was those. Uh, um, oh yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Wow. True or false, all the passengers boarded the ship on April 12th, 1912 in Southampton. Uh, we skipped two. Oh, I'm sorry. So one of them was called the Gigantic, wasn't it? Uh, I know that all three of them were names for like Atlas, Gigantic, Huge. I, don't I think know exactly one was Gigantic and the other was like. We only need one. Do you guys agree? Gigantic. G gigantic. gigantic sounds good. Gigantic? Sure, why not? Mammoth. No, I don't. Mm. I think Atlas might have been one of them. But okay, well, did... do Atlas if you've got that in your mind. Atlas, just... but didn't they all but have I, like... Usually I'm wrong when I when I insist on something. When I push my thing, it's like... I... You're an at attorney. <laughs> don't tell people that you're wrong when you insist on things. <laughs> do you want to go with Gigantic or Atlas? Let's go with gigantic because it seems like with the IC on the end, right? I think it's gigantic. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it wasn't any of those Lusimatania, Britannia, no, Costa, no. Melania, whatever the no, heck. I think, very large things. I think they all three ended in IC. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I think it's number just, three, false. It's gotta be false. 
Just yeah, the way they it's had, worded. Uh, I think they had two other stops before they went out into the Atlantic. I think the last one was Cork City in Ireland. <laughs> I agree. I think it was a stop, at least one. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. imagine the people that were running late and missed the ship. Yeah. There's stories of people who were supposed to fly on the 9-11 planes and missed it. Oh, you know you know who one of those people was? was uh, Seth MacFarlane. That's the most famous one, yeah. yeah. Ooh. He was booked, booked on the Pennsylvania. And what happened? He was hung over and missed the plane. Alcohol saved his life. Yep, it did. Oh, wow. <laughs> You'll never get that lucky again, Seth. <laughs> wow. How awful. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, number four. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Seth MacFarlane is still here. He's my hero. Like, so I there is a god, right? I don't right. know about this. Um, yeah. for I think it's D. I think it's D. That's what I thought. I don't it remember. Is, I think it I was, think it was, was calm. one of the things. One of the things about the the Titanic was that it was a perfectly calm. They should All have night, seen that thing. Right. Coming. That's what I thought. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Number five. I don't know. That's true. Unless the unless I think it's true also. Unless she's messing up some of the other numbers, it is true that five of the compartments got scraped. And I don't think that that Gail would just make one of them wrong. I think she'd make the whole thing wrong. Yeah, right. right. She'd be it'd, it'd be it obvious to be wrong. Yeah. So yeah, I think I, that's true. Good, good, because I didn't know this one. Okay. Uh why were there not all of not I think for places. money reasons, wasn't they just I would think I think so too. I think to put more passengers on. I think I think it was um aesthetics. They did not oh. want to promote if it was unsinkable, see she says oh. it was peppery. They Good didn't thinking. want it to look like it was gonna sink. Oh. Yeah. That's I think you're probably right. Because she because, said, I mean, it really wouldn't affect passengers because they're on the, it, you know, it's not going to affect the cabin space or but, anything. No, but I think she specifically said that wasn't the answer. No, she said that. She that, said it's, the answer is not because it was on single. Well, I've been on a few cruise ships and I know that when you are, when you have a view out, you know, mm. the, the ship, right. the, the, the safe boats, the boats can block yeah. parts of the view and stuff yeah. but what yeah what i'm saying uh robin is not because it was actually unsinkable look right. she said the unsinkable was puffery so right. for the marketing they didn't want a bunch of boats hanging around because that wouldn't pr promote their lie mm -hmm. yeah but i, I don't know right. that i no, don't this know this sounds that. good that sounds really mm -hmm. good yeah, but i, I don't know that i agree I'm, it's aesthetics guessing <clears throat> okay so Maybe i think that it is the wrong word maybe it's marketing i put i put appearance the way it would appear yeah, appearance is good yeah i think on seven it's the woman d that's what i put because i know the captain didn't survive neither I, did aster aster did not right. survive yeah and i don't think the the white chair or the chairman did either and neither did the owner of downton abbey <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny Wait a minute. Wait. Are they on the ship too? Wait, wait a minute. Carolyn, that's the what? that's the opening scene of Downton Abbey. Oh, the, the reason they inherit Downton Abbey is because their relative died on the Titanic. Oh, the I've never watched Downton Abbey. Yeah. Carolyn is thinking. She's got the thinking face. I almost think there was some something to do with one of the White Star people. It's def. It's not a. C. We know that. And I'm and it would be much more likely to be a woman. I mean, that's what I was thinking, because women and children first. Yeah, exactly. But something is tickling in my brain about some trial or something that had to do with one of the white star people, but that could have been just because of the lawsuits after afterwards. So there was a lot of drama with be. the white star people, but I don't think it had anything to do with anybody staying. I don't think. Okay. All right. So yeah, I mean, my first my first instinct is is the woman because women and children first. So mm -hmm. okay, it just something yeah tickled me for a second. Okay. On eight, I think it's false. I think it's true. I think it's false. 
I, I somehow remember some documentary that they even said when they finally went down to the ship, there was nothing closed that would have prevented them. I, okay. I think, you know, Close. that one I'm, I'm. I don't think they're organized enough to be able to right. say, I see your yeah. ticket. <laughs> yeah. You ain't getting on because you don't have the right ticket. That's yeah. a level I, of evil I, I you have to play I think that was for. one of the criticisms of the film, which I still have never seen all the way through. Don't watch it. It's I, it's a I, nightmare. I don't plan on it. I can't stand um, Jack and Rose. <laughs> They're just, God, that pisses me. The whole I can't stand out. that song. Oh, and, and the song is. Oh, yeah. do you know who was, do you know who that song was written for? They wanted Barbara Streisand to do it, oh. but she wouldn't do it for various creative, you know, control that she wanted and so Celine Dion was the second choice and she made a fortune and that fortune was really, of it. Yeah. so yeah. I mean I'm I am relatively sure because it just seems like when I watch the documentaries and stuff that was one of the criticisms of the film so well, I don't that know the reason yeah okay what are we putting false. for eight false okay I'm sorry I didn't write down seven what did we put for seven D D, D. D and then false uh -huh. yeah. yes. I have no idea what money would have been given okay. to musicians. That just breaks my heart. It's I okay to do, do it false again. Musicians usually get screwed. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Are we back? Are we back are to permitting two? true and false again? That would make my life easier. No, this one is uh, how much money? Plus, so I know. Plus it's five thousand. It did indicate that it was more than commentary on question Kenny's? eight, though. Yeah. Did you get along? Ground are you okay, honey? Better. I mean, we've got to think in nineteen twelve dollars for yeah, number nine. Yeah, zero. Huh? Well, no. Zero's somebody not... would have been given something. Anybody yeah. on the ship would have gotten something. Oh. I think so. Right. But would um, they have gotten more because they were musicians and they were employed? Five thousand dollars. That's a lot back then. That's no. yeah. I was inclined to think that that maybe it's like five thousand might be a good answer. It gives a zero to ten grand. Or five thousand and one, they didn't get zero dollars, right? But why would they put five thousand? Why would the plus and minus be five thousand? That's just crazy. It could be a trick. Yeah. Zero. Excessively generous. I think we should put ten thousand. Sure. Yeah. Okay. In you know nineteen twelve dollars, that could have bought seven houses on the south side of Chicago, maybe. Jeez. Yeah. I, I know number ten. Okay. Am I the only one that knows that? It's yeah. around 700 or so. Yeah, 700. Yeah. Wow. It's like 700 and 10. Something, 700 and something. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know the answer. Well, Robin, knew. I know Did it's I... between seven and 800. And it, since it's plus or minus 200, we, if we say 700, we're good. Yeah. yeah. Good job, team. So uh -huh. would you recommend the movie, you guys that have seen it, since Rob no. and Carol have it? No. I do not. Write. The All only right. scene that I liked, because I'm a fiddle player, the below deck scene where Jack and Rose go to have a little hoedown with the boys. Uh, they're playing some nice Irish tunes down there. Uh, Rakes of Mallow. And I recognize all the tunes. I don't remember them all, but I that, think that was should, a good scene. I think you should see it because of the history historic nature of you know right. how much it raised at the time and what a big deal it was at the time just see what it is you know i i would but if you but if you have any tendency toward claustrophobia don't go there i mean i saw part of it i just i just mm -hmm. never watched it all the way through is yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. too it could have been edited much more tightly it yeah. was you know the director's i don't know um because right when everybody is snotty and you're not root rooting for anyone <laughs> yeah, I, I did like the characters. That's the problem. Just you know, when you don't really have an affinity towards the characters, I didn't yeah, like when you. Yeah. She she dies. Okay, I mean, when she dies, finally, eventually, she You're gets like good. good. Can you kill more of these actors? <laughs> well, the, what she did with the with with the stone, I thought was ridiculous, and yeah. what she does with how she. You know, she went on to live this really awesome life afterwards with this man that she loved and she had all these kids with and stuff. Do you um, want to tell her all this if she hasn't seen it, Susan? Well, that's okay. But the point is, is that Rose, I... Rose goes on to have this fabulous life, right? And a man who loves her and she like does all these amazing things in her life. And then when it's all over with, 
kid, stop it. So when it's all over the um, and she goes like into the afterlife, her afterlife's with with Jack, some guy she had like a okay. One sorry for not anyone watching. Sorry for not alerting you to that. Spoiler. Hey, that was a spoiler on there. But you know, I would think she would want to spend her you time mean with her sink? her husband. But can sink. we repeat the answers before we close, please? Okay. Uh, number one, C. Number two, gigantic. Number three, false. Number four, D. Number five, true. Number six, aesthetics, marketing, aesthetics, appearance. 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 Number seven, D. Number eight, false. Number nine, 10,000. Number 10, 700. Okay, great. Back to why Titanic sucks, but you should watch it. <laughs> it is one of those <laughs> things you should at least know something about it so that you can, you know, but anyway. So you can attend trivia at night. Yeah. Right. And good job, team. Great, great job. Great conversation. Yeah, I like these uh, questions. They yeah, were... that was good. That was good. I think we've had Titanic before, but they were different questions. There's a lot to cover on. Rob just did it not too long ago. Yeah, you could do. How did you do it, Rob? I wasn't sure I did it actually, but if I did it, it was probably a long time ago. <laughs> it was way a long time ago, I think we did. Yeah. Hey, Gail, you ready for the answers? I remember. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, here come the answers. I'll read the answers and then I'll put them all in chat. Number one, the one he did not win was best screenplay. Hey. And that I was saw. unusual because he wasn't even nominated for it. <laughs> By the way, the 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 film was pretty accurate, except, of course, the main story was fiction. Oh, so, really? <laughs> now you tell us. But the, the background was pretty accurate. Um, there were two sister ships, the Olympic and the Britannic. Oh, oh yeah. uh, what? Good. good uh, the so, Olympic so, uh, and the Britannic are, they, are the two. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, team. The white the Olympic and the Olympic, Olympic, right? Okay, so my uh, so my vague guess was actually correct, and uh, between Rob and my, we got both of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. And actually, it's weird. Most of the most of the, is that what the question said? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Most photographs are actually of the Olympic. Interestingly. Yep. They 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 didn't get as any photos. Mm. They were in the same. On uh, number three, that is false. They actually had three embarkation places. The first ones were on the, the date was also wrong. So there were two things wrong. It started em, embarking on the oh, 11th we got the of sinking April. Date. It started in Southampton. Yeah. Then later that day, it went to Cherbourg, France. And then on the 12th, it went to Queenstown, Ireland to pick up the last of the passengers. Robin remembered that. Ireland, from New York. I knew, I knew there were multiple. I didn't remember how many. I'm glad that wasn't the question. All you had to do was do a follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because in the narration, I think Rose says, uh, and, and then we picked up more passengers at so-and-so. Number four, which of them was not true? Not true was D. The ocean Yay. was not very wavy. And in fact, that was one of the things the movie got right, was at one point, uh, the captain is told that because the water is so still, we won't be as likely to see in the dark see an iceberg mm. because the waves won't show it off yeah they said it's um, like a, a the word the phrase i've never heard it's like a mill pond yeah, it was very very mm. calm that night but that turned out to be a disadvantage in this case okay mm. number five is true that is exactly what happened and why it happened they went mm. they saw the iceberg and tried to steer around it but they couldn't steer. The big ship was bigger than anything they had, and they couldn't steer it fast enough. So as they went by, they scraped against the iceberg on the side, and they had not. They thought about crashing into an iceberg, but not scraping along the side. So it got a mm -hmm. whole long swath, and five of the compartments were were gone, and therefore they couldn't stop it. And right. from what I recall too, they apparently made the mistake, although they would have no way of knowing it, of reversing uh, the propellers, which actually made the situation worse. Right. Okay. The original design had enough lifeboats, and it was Ismay, who when he saw the design said, remove all those nice all those light, that double row of life, lifeboats from the first class, from the ah. first class 
promenade because it makes it looks terrible. It's too crowded. Mm -hmm. It ruins the view. And therefore, they yeah. took them out. There would have been enough if they'd been there. Good. And if we said, well, it, since it wasn't, it was also not the law, it was not required, could that be an answer? No. That's not why they were gone. They were gone. It wasn't required because at that point, how many lifeboats you had was based on the tonnage of the ship and it was beyond the top number. So they wasn't required, but that's not why they weren't there. They were there in the original plans. He took it out because he didn't like how it looked. It was too crowded. The first class passengers didn't need all those things. And of course it wasn't gonna sink, so it wasn't a problem. And interestingly, it was Ismay who did that who was the White Star chairman. And the answer to number seven is B. He, is, he survived <gasps> while the other, the other people died. Really? He, died, he, had, he had a horrible rest of his life, but he, yeah. he got on a lifeboat and he survived. In the movie, they show him You're right, wearing, Carolyn. wearing Wait, a, woman, a woman's jacket, a woman's fur coat to try to disguise mm -hmm. himself. So the answer is B. The answer is B. He lived. Okay. And the many people picked V. V is a very powerful story. That is a true story. Isidore Strauss couldn't get on the lifeboats because it was women and children first, and his wife refused to leave him. Oh I think oh. I remember that now that you say that. That's right. Okay. Number eight is false. The later evidence given at the inquiry said initially some of the gates that usually block steerage passengers from accessing the higher levels of the ship stayed locked, at, but stewards waited for instructions to open them. And this happened only after most of the lifeboats had launched. So those areas were locked not to keep people off the lifeboats. They were ordinarily locked to keep the steerage passengers from getting up with the important people. So it, it, it is true, and it, they showed it in the movie, wow. but um, that wasn't why it happened. Well, we got it right for the wrong reason, you guys. We got it right for the wrong reason. So. <laughs> <laughs> number nine. So, so um, wait a minute, what was wait the wait actual so, correct so the answer, answer to number, number eight. eight is false? Yes. Yes, no, no, number eight no. is false. They, they, did not, they did not do that. It happened, but it did not happen for that reason. It happened because those areas, those gates were locked to keep the third class passengers from going to the places they weren't allowed. And they wouldn't open them until they were told to. And in all the confusion, they weren't told to until most of the lifeboats were gone. So it's like it's like these uh, hor horrid cases where the doors to a factory aren't uh, are, are, or are locked yeah. from the, from the mm -hmm. inside and people die in a fire. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly the same thing, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number nine, these were the eight musicians who sacrificed themselves. They did it voluntarily. And what did the insurance pay? Nothing. The answer is oh, oh, so In fact, so said that they were not employees. They were, they were only there as independent contractors. What? And they were listed Bastards. on the, as second class passengers, although they weren't given any of the privileges of second class passengers. And when it went to court, they were not, not only were none of their family, all, all eight of them died, and not their families were given no compensation, but they were given bills for their uniforms. Yeah, they did charge them. They did. <laughs> had a long history. So of over did people contract. who were on the Titanic who died, they didn't get any kind of money for? So they uh, were contractors, though. No, no, I mean, in general. Oh. In general, after two years and court cases, there was some compensation and the compensation ended up being, well, let me read to you because I wrote this because I knew you would answer that question. Mm -hmm. Number 10, there were 2,240 passengers and crew. How many survived? And the answer to survival is uh, 1,517 lives were lost according to the, to the Americans and according to the British, it was 1,503. Apparently, there was some confusion about that, which means that your answer needed to be between 1,300 and 1,700. That, what? That. Survive. What? No, you said survive. I'm confused. 
You, you said yeah, you asked how many survived. So I guess you're right. You have to do the math then. So, so what, what's the math then? I'm not confused. Out of 200, 2,240, mm -hmm. 1,000, basically 1,500. Okay, that, that was my exact guess. 740 yes. is the middle of the reason. Yeah, you're right. That's right. I, I, Good job, I Karen. Karen knew it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so did nine. Robin. Oh, Robin is nine. Here's the, the information that I found on that. Um, the crew suffered the, suffered the most casualties with about 700 fatalities. The third class also suffered greatly as only 174 of the approximately 710 passengers survived. And they agreed to pay, after two years of court cases, $664,000 divided among the survivors, which came to $950 a person, which is about $22,000 in today's dollars. By the way, did... Uh... Does the White Star Line? Oh, 1500 dies, Rob. Okay. Right. How, long, how long after that did the White Star Line exist? And did it, and is it, is it sort of a get bought, at, bought or merged with uh, something so, into something that still exists? I don't know about it that. It still or, exists now. I'm pretty, pretty sure the White Star yeah. Line still exists. I think they own the Queen Mary, don't they? And sadly and amazingly, not only did, did they continue after that, um, although that they, there was the person that we talked about who lived did not end up having a good time of it. But um, one, of, one of the things that happened was there were people on the Titanic who worked for the company who were then on two other White Star ships later that also sank. But oh they, boy. So um, they lived through three Sounds sounds like the guy who was uh, at, at Hiroshima and then a few days later was at Nagasaki. <laughs> um, so, Dale, uh, may, I, 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 may I say something about the contractors, the musicians? Yes. So this still happens today. Um, uh, corporations will hire individuals and they'll say they're contractors. They are not if they require people to perform certain services at certain times for certain hours and so forth. And and they hire them as contractors. They have no workers comp coverage if they're injured on the job. They lose so many rights and, and so forth. So please be leery of people that wanna hire you as contractors and you don't have the protections you would have by law. If you Let me tell you an interesting story about I would, this. And the end of that sentence is uh, people that will take advantage of you instead of you having the benefit of labor laws. So I worked for Lockheed Martin as a contractor, and the last year I was there, they put up a special notice to all employees. If anyone needs medical assistance, please dial this number, but this does not apply to contractors. Yeah. <laughs> so it became a joke. Okay, we just leave you there to die. So the oh. final question, Gail, it would be 700 would be yeah. an okay answer. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, this is depressing. Rob, Thanks, I, I have a friend who was a contractor and uh, when his firm sent out a notice to tell everyone they could go home because the weather was bad and they were expecting tornado warnings, uh, he wasn't in that distribution list because he wasn't <laughs> an employee. Oh, he also, kept on working. Yeah, also they gave free vaccinations. This is before COVID, so it was a lot the previous flu season. And it was free vaccine to all employees because we were very concerned about the flu. We don't want anybody to get sick and no, contractors not included. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I but you, that can't, point, you can't catch point. the flu from a contractor. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> White Star merged with Cunard. Correct. Well, it's Cunard White Star. All right, let's but go over scores. Yeah, 706 people survived. Okay, here we go. So let's go with, I see, I'm glad nobody showed up here at the last minute because we, we wouldn't know what team to put them on. I still have the powers. Thanks. Man, a porn star, a Playboy bunny, and a doorman walk into a courthouse. Seven. Eight. Didn't we get eight? No. We we had... Uh, oh, no. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, we had, Sweet dreams are made of Carl. Six, seven. 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 Okay. That's Gail. It's team. So Trump's plane will be renamed Conair. Nine. 
Ooh. And oodles of noodles for McDoodles. Eight. <laughs> Eight. 7.4, oh, yeah. good job. Okay, oh. so let's do our photo. <clears throat> All right, everybody look at your, look your best. Or try. <laughs> Thank you. All right, okay, hold on. Okay, one, two, three. Nice. So Kevin decided to make sure that all the T's, uh, all the T's were uh, dotted and the I's were crossed. Yes. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. So before we go, I want to make sure we do our our happy birthday song. So before Jim disappears, so or anybody else who's playing and going anywhere. So we have. Uh, Vincent and we have Terry and Peggy had a birthday last week we sang to her already so if you yes. want to sneak her her in there a little no, bit no 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 thanks I had all the joy last week <laughs> so it's Terry and Vincent then she's willing to to knock that off okay so you guys know how this works right any tune you want Do any tempo you want any any whatever you want but this is for Vincent and for Terry all right nobody else I should know about right yeah. Wait, I thought Jim. No, I just yeah. did. I wanted to do it before Jim left. Okay, you ready? We had to have his, his golden tones in there. All right, ready? Here we go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 Beautiful, oh, beautiful. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, I love wow. it. Thank you, everybody. That was great. Yeah. Terry had her screen yeah. turned off. That's not fair. You couldn't <laughs> see what her expression was. Hold on. Bandwidth. I had to for to hear you guys. Oh, okay. Well, her face, uh, her face on the photo is saying it all, you guys. Yeah, that's yeah, like right. <laughs> I love this, you guys. I love that. Okay, so um, five minutes. We'll be back with okay. announcements and we'll continue. I'm leaving the uh, screens running. Recording is running. Bye, Jim. Bye. I just saw Kevin's face. Oh my God, Kevin in that picture. I like to make a goofy face all the time. Thank 
Hang a plastic bag on the refrigerator door. I don't think it's going to be very likely. Okay. Okay. She's the only one I can talk to is Carl. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, and Kevin. My, my camera's not on, that's all. I'm here too. You're there and Bill. I see Bill. I see Carl. I see Kevin. I see Janine. I I'm see back. Ellen. And I got your uh I'm back. Your shirt on there, Vince. I could have told you, Vincent. Uh, for what? Who's who's that? The guy who sings your song. Uh, I could have told you, Vincent, this world was never meant for one as beautiful as you. Starry, starry night. <laughs> oh, you know, I've never heard that song ever. Really? <laughs> you have now. Kevin's going to serenade you. Yeah. One of oh, my favorite well. songs. One of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I might have heard the song, but uh, not for a while. But yeah, my name is so. Um, uh, what is the word I'm using? Um, you were saying rare, but rare. it's not rare. It's not very, rare around me. Very it's rare. Yeah, not around here. It isn't. There's a lot of Vincents in uh, in the Providence area. Vincent, Vinny, oh, yeah. hey Vinny. Hey, Vinny. Yeah, that's our I, Vinny. Yeah, I, I hate that name. I really do. <laughs> Vinny. I was uh, bullied in school, and that's what they called me. Vinny, Vinny, Bo, Vinny, Fee, 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 Finny, yeah. Vinny? Well, they didn't even understand what it was from, but Ouch. it was from Welcome Back, Cotter. Mm hmm What? Yeah. Huh? You were named after a character in Welcome Back, Carter? No, no, I was named after Vincent Price. Oh, well, that's better. God, I can't imagine being named but after. But this somebody. song is about Vincent Van Gogh. Yes, I know. Oh, I think they're both. I think they they knew each other. Okay, Vincent Are we Price, back? Think one Vincent of them didn't Van Gogh other. knew each other. Of he course, he never heard they hung out. Don't, don't, don't think there was. Don't think there was an heard. overlap in their ages. No, <laughs> you only half heard about them. <laughs> they're on their way back all right so we're doing announcements let's see what we got we don't have that much this week uh rob do you have anything he's not here so he's got nothing i'll hear hi Alice. hey hey yeah this week on data skeptic i talked to two researchers about two topics one is the ever famous likert scale and how that works in research and the second is how they applied the Likert scale to measure humans' perceptions of robots. And do we trust them uh, and things like that? So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Why does that term sound familiar, but I, I don't know what that means. So the Likert scale is usually like a, let's say a one to seven or something like that. Or like, do you uh, very much agree, slightly agree, neutral, slightly disagree, very disagree, that kind of, that's a Likert scale. Oh, okay. Or uh, as they taught me, it's a Likert scale, apparently. It's the Likert proper pronunciation, scale. yeah. Sounds well, more obscene, but that's the proper way to say it. You know, I when I'm trying to figure out if something is a robot or not, I always ask it first, how does it feel about Sarah Connor? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Rob, do you have anything this week? Or Nothing at all. Planning for vacation, so I haven't done anything except do that. Where are you going? That's why I got the map up. Oh, okay. She, he's going to uh, Germany. Wow. No. You're going to invade Belgium? Belgium. Yep. <laughs> wow. Amsterdam the, and Belgium. Belgies. Oh, oh, the category in Indigenite is on Hercule Poirot. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. You got Where it. are you going in Belgium? 
Uh, Antwerp and um, what the hell's oh. the name of the other place? Why? Why? For chocolate or for beer? Ghent and Antwerp. Oh, both. Antwerp. <laughs> both. Antwerp. <laughs> we're, we're, we're on a, we're on a seven day cruise cool. out of Amsterdam and it stops ah. at the, 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 the several places. Oh, okay, that makes the, sense. Is that a river <laughs> cruise? Antwerp yeah, is fascinating. Yeah. So to speak, there's no river, but yeah, they call it a river cruise. Yeah. yeah. Rob, when you go to Antwerp, what they're famous for is diamond cutting. Yeah. So go go to the factories. There's all over the streets of Antwerp. That, that's too factories. dangerous. I don't think we're going to go to that. <laughs> <That's too laughs> they give they give free samples, so you should uh -huh. go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll help you shove them in places yeah. where you can yeah. find them. So I'm sure you can find somebody named Vinny who will help you. They'll, they'll give you the yeah, mistake. Nobody... You were the center. Yeah, it's fascinating to go to, but but diamonds are mined in South Africa. Then they get travel to Antwerp for cutting. Then they go to Tel Aviv to sell. Oh, so that's the, that's the or New York route. City. And, and, and Aruba, because every other yeah, store in yeah, Aruba eventually. is selling diamonds. I have a question yeah, about diamonds. Does, um, Are they really a girl's best friend? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't know. Maybe if she's really lonely. <laughs> I couldn't give a shit about diamonds, but that's okay. I don't think they were never a big deal in my life. Um, so. <laughs> So, uh, so, Adrian should so, be so, coming back from her cruise tomorrow, right? I think. Oh yeah. Is she still on the ship now? Is she still on the ship? Um, or... I have just made it. I think she's coming back. Caspian's gone. He will be gone for weeks. Uh, he'll leave tomorrow at four in the morning. So. So where is he going? Where is he going? Hold on. It's a top secret doll. A top yeah, secret, secret job. Yeah. So um. I have stuff coming up, but not soon. I mean, it's next week. I don't think I have anything. Um, what do they call those microphones that go over your head, Susan? What? Boom mics? Oh, booms. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I thought they're called booms. Why do you ask, Kevin? Because it's in one of my videos that obviously saying boom that mic uh, Rob what hasn't watched. What are you talking about? So uh, any yeah, videos this week. Oh, we're we're having on Wednesday. That's right. On Wednesday, um, Eric Schaefer from CFI and uh, C CFI, yeah, and I are going to do a webinar, and it's going to be a because we're doing a whole series of how to help bring groups back, how to how to get the gangs back together, and how to do how to the things you need to do, the things you probably should know to help bring yourselves back. The last webinar we did is on, it's on uh, Center for Inquiry's uh, YouTube site. And it's about how to kind of market outside of your, your choir, you know, how to use, Listen, how to use the media. Jane, so that maybe you can go. Yeah, so there's- I'm so sending out an email, but I haven't- Yeah, I think yet. it's really important for people to know these kinds of things because uh, there, there are all kinds of hints and stuff. Last time was really interesting. I learned a lot. This time we're going to be talking about how to create, uh, make, you know, for a small group, how to film a, um, a, a, a talk, like somebody's giving a talk and you're doing it live. How would you film that to get the best film? Plus, and, and this is a lot what Gail had said in the comments when I asked on Facebook, how to make the people who are watching remotely feel like they're part of the group a little bit and how the people on YouTube who are watching the video later will feel about the video. You want to break the fourth wall is what I keep saying. Try to make sure you do that. And so we're going to show clips. I went through the Internet and I found some awful bad filming. A lot of it is from Monterey County skeptics back in the day. <laughs> And they're like 30 <laughs> yeah. second clips of bad things. And we're just, it's just going to be an Eric and I talking. We're going to show the bad clips and then we're going to talk about why it was bad and how you could fix it. And avoid, and avoid the use of film and filming as words because no one uses film anymore. <laughs> what else do we say? Recording. Video. Video. Videoing, Shooting. recording. Recording. So sorry. That's not one of our tips. Media. <laughs> are you, are you because it? nobody cares. Are, are you covering I, doing it, it makes you it makes you sound like a boomer i'm just saying well i am a boomer but you don't want to come across like that no shame in being a boomer is that yeah, what for rules, boomer? man we invented the internet wow we are on the internet because we invented it so they're little tiktokers 
It's I think at four o'clock, Cindy, but it'll be recorded and it'll be played in a few weeks after that. And any time now, Center for Inquiry is going to come out with my talk for um, PsyCon that I did. So I keep thinking it's going to pull up. So eventually it will. And I, I also. Thought have... I thought I saw that, Susan. No. Well, I recorded it. You. No, no, no. It. I thought I saw it. Yes, I published that a few weeks ago. No, am I wrong? No. Oh. No. So no, no. Just the one that I had you had held the camera for or whoever it was and recorded it. But so hopefully this one will be out professional one pretty soon. But um yeah, and then I have some things the following week. But the webinar that's coming up, it's really about getting the groups back together again. We do have a Santa Cruz skeptics group starting up. They're barely, he's just it's just one guy. So he's excited about starting something. So we'll have to um help him out. Good and luck finding other skeptics in woo-woo land. I know that's what he's saying. <laughs> Did you know they have a dousing conference there every year? I had no idea. We should go. Yeah, I think I'm so. In. Or something. You, so should, think you should crash it and dump buckets of water on them. <laughs> no, you should go there and win. And then and then show them you've got this new power that's better than all theirs put together. And then oh. tell them it's a hoax. Yeah, yeah rig it. Nobody. We're doing it. Or something else. Rig it. All right. So let's go back to our to our game. Uh, but the thing but is, have, is that unless somebody has anything else that I need to know. I was just going to ask you if you've got next week's rounds covered. For no, I sure don't. So thank you, people. Thank you for reminding me, Carl, who's not dead. Um, <laughs> The, right. um, By the way, sorry, Susan. Yeah, so I must have seen yours come up again on my feed. But anyway, if anyone who hasn't seen this, this is the current playlist for the talks from 2022 PsyCon, which are currently on their website. Did you just put nice. it? Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so they're, they're slowly bringing them out. We'd rather you guys just come to PsyCon because what you're seeing here is just a little tiny bit of what actually happens. In fact, they cut the video and it bugs me and I complain about it every time. They cut the video where they're taking out all of the fun stuff that happens because George Robb gets up there and he does some really funny stuff oh. that that's at the beginning and it's missing whenever I, a CFI I, I guess pulls that's out. what they want you to pay for to go to Psychon to see no, George Robb's intros. I, I, bug, I bug Barry yeah, about it. He you, says, Susan. I'll tell them to do it. And he says, well, they didn't do it. I'm like, fine. But there's a lot that happens to Psychon that is way better. The talks are great, but there's a lot happening. So really, don't wait for just the videos. There's a lot more going on. Yes, Vincent? Is it okay if I make a small um, uh, announcement? Sure. Uh, my group up here, the newly formed Rocky Mountain Atheists, are actually having a conference. It's called We Can Reason, a Western Canadian Reason Conference, and it's happening uh, May 5th. So um, in, Calgary. In, Calgary, in Calgary, yeah. So we're going to have RN Ra. Uh, Seth Andrews, oh, gosh. Uh, local Canadian woman, um, uh, and a few and a few others. They're going to have uh, some entertainments and all day thing. Two hundred and twenty Canadian, uh, and then it goes down from there. Um, yeah, so just is it in person? Yeah, it in is person. in person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you have nachos and margaritas? Um, I don't know. They have snacks there. I don't think May they'll have Cinco de Mayo. I don't think they'll. Oh have... yeah, Cinco de Mayo. Well, well they're Canadians. Know. They don't know anything about that stuff. That's, that that name, yeah. we can reason. That's pretty witty. I like that. It's yeah, uh, yeah. Adrian's yeah. son came up with it. I thought I we thought reason. that was pretty. I thought that that was pretty good. And this is the conference that Mark and I were invited to a long time ago, and then the pandemic yes. hit. Yes, and then but, we fell out of favor. <laughs> oh but, well. Um, um, uh, yeah, and Adrian is uh, going to be part of it as well. She's also going to be part of it. Oh, and uh, yeah, Richard Saunders is going to be there too. Oh, Whoa. he's going to oh, be yeah. there in person. He's going to be there in person. Wow. Oh, that's news to me. <laughs> yeah. well, that's reason enough to go right there. 
I was I was amazed when they said Richard Saunders was going to be there too, and it's like, oh, okay. And they said, yeah, from your uh, from my uh, 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 trivia group. So it's like, wow. Oh, that well, that that will be great. I'm glad you guys are going to get a chance to meet him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know about those other atheist people, but yeah, it's going to be really cool. You're going to have Richard Saunders there. <laughs> and... but, uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. And I can send you the information if you so desire. Anybody's going to be up in Calgary. Okay, so here we go. You guys ready? We have, uh, we have, uh, who's in the lead here? Which of you crazy people? Uh, it is Oodles or Noodles from McGoogles. I'm up. Yeah, and you're up. It's Troy, Kevin, Terry, Brandy, and Bill are the ones in the lead right now. And I'm up, and it's my category, and it's the third and final category based on my name. Boy, somebody's been... A trilogy. Mock mocker? Based on mocker? No, Kevin. <laughs> and I'm going to go fast. I'm going to go oh, fast. Try really to not. set the record. Oh, dear. I'm going to put it okay. up there. Cool. So... Mute everybody, please. Three, two, one, go. I will. Just a second. Name a famous Kevin who was also a member of Saturday Night Live. Unmute yourself, Kevin. Oops. Name a famous Kevin who was also a cast member of Saturday Night Live. Number two, a male model who did commercials and played Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. Number three, the butler on Downton Abbey. Number four, a member of Kids in the Hall. There are two guys named Kevin, name one of them. Num number six, in a famous boy band, there are two fa famous boy bands, name one Kevin or one of the bands. Number seven, this Kevin was married to Britney Spears. Who is he? Number eight. Best known for his TV character, Roy DeSoto. Name him or the TV show. Number eight, the leader of the Tonight Show band with Jay Leno from 95 to 2010. And number 10, born Kevin George Nipthing, won a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy. What is his stage name or the TV show he won that award for? Go to your rooms. Oh. Is that fast enough? Thanks for catching Good job, us up. Kevin. Boy, that made up some time. We were on track to finish by 2.30, so this should improve around. things. I'm jamming. Oh, check me out. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's cool, Karen. That was neat. I like that. You can get to your room okay? Sorry. Hello, team. I got that wrong. I know one. What? Not number one. I got it wrong. I know one. Oh. <laughs> okay, what do you know? I know uh, Kevin Fenderlake was, wasn't he the one who was married to Britney Spears? No idea. Oh, give me a number. Okay. Here we Seven. Go. Seven. Kevin, what? Kevin Fender Lake. Is that his name? Hmm. You guys have got to be way more socially enough, socially aware than I am. I have no idea. I don't even know half the number stuff. Number two, is. Kevin Sorbo. Who? Uh, yeah. Which one? Sorbo. On um, which one? Oh, number two. 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 Um, never heard of him. Butler on Downtown Abbey. Never watched that. But I did watch Kids in the Hall a lot, and I I don't remember know. that. Oh, the guy, but I cannot remember his last name. Oh, Rob, I gotta fix. I gotta fix Deborah. How'd she get moved to the wrong room? Uh, uh, the only one I know is the. Uh, I think it's the with Jay Leno is Kevin Eubanks. 
Give me a number. Oh, scroll uh, down. Yeah, I just it was number uh, nine. There you go. Yep. amazing what goes on behind the scenes here. I'm getting text messages all over the place. <laughs> Did you have a question? Me? Anybody? Oh, no. I just got a message from somebody on my YouTube channel that saw one of my Thomas John videos, and she says, Oh my God, I thought that he was picking up random people off the street. This is awful. He's playing with people's emotions. <laughs> I've been answering many, many I get that every once in a while. Oh, we're supposed to be playing trivia. It's uh, Kevin Finderlake. Kevin Peterlake. What is his name? Kevin Finderman. Finderlake. I don't really honestly don't know. It's something like that. Um. I've never heard of Entourage. I've never, never heard of Kids it. in the Hall. How do you not know Kids in the Hall? I, I've heard the name. <laughs> what is it? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's, it's a sketch band. comedy show. Oh, it's shoot. Great. I, okay. <clears throat> but I can't remember the dude's name. I pick. I can picture him, but I can't remember his last name because I'm terrible with names. His oh. first name is Kevin. And he his has last a last name. name. Is Kevin... Uh, who are we talking about? Kids in the Hall guy. I got number one wrong. I think I got him mixed up with Norm McDonald. Uh, Britney Spears' sex husband was Federline. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, well, that's um, fine. I knew it's something like that, so. Does anyone know any famous uh, boy bands? Uh, uh, uh. New Direction was it? New Direction? Oh, there was a guy. There's a, but I don't know. Any, I don't know anybody's names. There was New Kids on the Block when I was growing up. I remember them. I don't remember their names either. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Jones, Kevin Smith. Yeah, Finderling. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, I'm trying to scroll the screen in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't that terrible? I do it all the time. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. George Cliffling. What the hell is that? Um. The reason he changed his name. <laughs> I'm oh, yes, yeah, it's born. Hmm. Okay, SNL was uh, Kevin Nealon. What did you say? Nealon? I don't know what you said. No. Nealon. N E something L. O M. Sounds it's, like that. <laughs> something like that. It sounds yeah. like what he just said. Yeah. <laughs> um, we should probably know the last one, right? I have um, no idea. It's a famous person who's changed his horrible name. Could he still have kept the Kevin, or do you think he might have used the George? What about uh, the George guy? The, he's like a Hispanic guy and he's a comedian and he has his own show. Or had, I think it's called George. <laughs> I don't know what his name is though. 
No, nah, wait a minute. He wouldn't be a neat thing if he was Hispanicish. Well, this guy won a, a primetime Emmy for as yeah. being an actor. Uh, Could that be Kevin James? Who's that? Yes, 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 yes. I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's the guy on that show with Leah Remini. What's his um uh, King of Queens? Yes. Thank oh, you. I didn't have never heard of her until she loved Scientology. Then then I know all about her. <laughs> but I've never you know, seen the show. I didn't like the show. I didn't like her on the show. But I watch all the all the aftermath episodes. Well, I bet you did. <laughs> Um, Actually, I've been there too close to home. I've read all all the the interviews and stuff that uh, Tony Ortega would do with all everybody. So I feel like I've seen all the aftermath, but I, yeah. I haven't watched any of them. I just oh feel like I know them all because he would always talk about it and re-interview people, and then you know, so I, I got enough. Um, I don't know any of these others. The Butler on Downtown Abbey, Kevin. They would have. They would have only used his last name because everybody was known by their last name oh so we're supposed oh. to i thought we're supposed to, it's not the actor that we need to know i don't know he didn't say uh yeah kevin doyle okay doyle is that the actor's name or the character's That's name the, his name who the actor's name oh these things oh i don't know what kids in the hall is you tried to say but it's Kevin Mix something, I swear. No kidding. <laughs> oh, it's gonna McNeil. Mc Worry. McDougal or Mc <laughs> Mc Mc no. McDonald. Ah, yeah. if only my husband would come downstairs, I know he'd know. Your husband would know? Yeah. Kevin, he would know. Call him. Call him from where you're sitting. Yo. Kids in the hall. Can he hear you? Maybe, hold on. Corey, I need you to know the name of the guy who played on Kids in the Hall. His name is Kevin. <laughs> I, I I couldn't even begin to ask Mark any of these. He wouldn't know any of them. Famous Thank boy band. Famous? We've got that? two choices. Name one Kevin or one of the band. Oh, name a band. Oh, what about Backstreet Boys? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Is there a Kevin in them? I, I maybe there's like six of them, isn't there? Uh, yeah, I have no. Our idea. odds are high. The odds are high. Yeah. <laughs> I saw. I saw today, or when I was at the grocery store, that BTS. Is that their name? The South Korean. Yeah, there's, there's no like, Kevin. There's no. No, Kevin but there's like Kevin. seven of them. I'm like, good lord, you. Oh. Yes, but they all have. Korean names. Yeah, so the, no. And I don't think Kevin is one of them. <laughs> but man, I didn't know their group was so big. They're good. Are they? Oh, yeah. Wait, Kevin yeah. Mack something, huh? What? K Kids in the Hall, Kevin Mack something. Kevin uh, McNeil, Kevin McCall. Well, she went to go ask McDonald. her. McDonald. Maybe that's what, because she thought that one up here and she goes no no that's wrong that's wrong so maybe she doesn't maybe that is it she would ask Corey yeah okay Entourage, be, has anybody seen Entourage what do you say what did Corey say Brandy we're thinking Kevin McKay but for what for kids in the hall okay does that sound right no 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 no, no. No idea. McDonald. It is McDonald? Is that why? I'm pretty sure it is McDonald. Huh. I only watched it a couple times, so. Okay, two, okay, Entourage. I've never seen Entourage, so I have no idea. Okay, one of the two main cast members. So these are the characters. So what is Entourage? Do you have any tips for us, Randy? Um, it's, uh, I only know it from watching like the daily show and, uh, Trevor Noah talking about it and making jokes. Um, and that one dude, um, an actor from that show, uh, pretended to get beat up for being gay. <gasps> oh, that guy. Yeah. 
was that that was on entourage i'm oh. pretty sure yeah he were pretending so, to get a noose put around his head he got i have a, no idea what his name is i think the majority of the cast is black because i think it it's like chicago right. or something it's a i don't really know what it's about though but he made the news because he got um he lied he about charge for it and i think he yeah. was uh, convicted yeah that was awful he he it was so obvious that once once it came through they should that he should have had the book handed to him i mean my god it was so obvious yeah, there was so much was evidence his, against him his mm -hmm. name wasn't kevin as far as i know but that's no. the show that's the show yeah um, okay so he kevin wants to know the name of the cast member so i guess he wants the fake names right kevin no he wants he wants the cast members names. oh okay he wants the actors names the actors names. so kevin jones kevin connelly kevin yeah i don't care pick one which one's a real one well, I've never heard of Kevin Jones. I just made it up because it's a common name. Kevin Connolly. <laughs> okay. Is Kevin Connolly a name? It's real. Yes. Okay. He's a real person. I don't well, we I did good. I don't know that he's on uh entourage, but uh and number eight. Do we have number eight? No. Oh. Kevin okay, Tai. TV show. Hmm? Kevin Tai. Kevin Tai? T I G E. T I G H E. What's the TV show? Uh, oh, uh, uh, I just said, uh, um, Doesn't matter. Oh, I love that show. Uh, so, do we have something for everyone now? That was like the original emergency show. I just got it from the sounds Kevin made, right? Yeah. <laughs> I I loved that. I was a kid. I loved that. Now why I didn't try this before. <laughs> Put more things in. What I should yeah, have done was say first, yeah, that was, finishes, that was let me know and I'll give a two-minute yeah. warning to, to go faster. <laughs> yeah. Some people are having trouble with number 10. Well, if I wasn't on this team, I wouldn't have known it. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I knew one person on here and I didn't even know, I wasn't even spelling it. I, wasn't even pronounced. Yeah, when you right. said it, I knew you spelled it wrong, and I was I had to get out before I laughed. But then you got it, you finally begged you and to know. Fe fetter line. Mm. Okay, team. Good job, Kevin. Um just keep in your mind, back in your mind, people, that we still don't have next week filled. So do you have anyone? Nope. Oh. Anybody want the whole thing? I will I'll take the um the bonus round. I got a good one for that. Okay, I'll do one. Who said that, Troy? Yeah. Okay. Can't fill. I'll I'll do one. Okay. Any other volunteers? This will be April thirteenth. Game one fifty six. We'll never have another game one fifty six again, you guys. If you don't get anybody else, you can put me on there. Okay. Well, I'll ask again in a minute while everybody searches deep into their conscience. Okay, you ready for answers? <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Cleveland, Sorbo, Doyle, McDonald, Connery, ah, Dylan, Jones, oh, 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 oh. Backstreet Boys. Come on, Kevin, Ty, Eubanks, One is what? Kevin Dillon. Got it. Okay. Two is Kevin oh, Sorbo. There they are on the... Oh, Three that's is Kevin spot. Doyle. Four oh, is Kevin McDonald. So close. Five is Kevin Connolly or Kevin Dillon. Six is the Jonas Brothers or the Backstreet Boys. Kevin Jonas, oh, Kevin Richards. Uh, Number seven is Kevin Federline. Number eight is uh, uh, Emergency, Kevin Ty. 
Yeah. And mm -hmm. number nine is Kevin Eubanks from the. Oh, you banks. And number 10 is Kevin James from King of Queens. Good job. Yes. Kevin James. Where's oh, Kevin Hart? Excellent. I couldn't remember no his Hart. damn name. It was in a previous <laughs> answer, another category. Last. Oh, guys. <sighs> just the wrong last name to fill in all the blanks. The minute yeah. he said you banks, I'm like, oh, there it is. Yeah. I remember it. Oh, well. Kevin Ty. Don't remember him. I knew that the Downton Abbey guy was a short name that was Irish. I put Boyne, yeah. Doyle Boyne. Ah, so close. So close. Emergency starring <laughs> Kevin Ty and Randolph Mantu. Yes, and, and Doyle is spelled D-O-Y-L-E, not what you got yeah. up there. Oh, I get it wrong. Typo. <laughs> oh, take the point back. L-E. Good job. That was good. My team did really well. I was no help. I think everybody did fine on it. Yeah. Yes, please. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were in teams, okay. that's why. Because we had it, we had to have like somebody knew everything. Scores, scores, please. Bill was pulling something. them out of I don't know where. He was just like, like he did a, something. He was channeling calls. I have no idea where things are stored in my memory. <laughs> he just he's like <laughs> concentrating, and all of a sudden it'll pop out of his head. We okay. did something. Close to fine, but the, the instead of a V, instead of a N, there was a V. Oh. <laughs> okay, I still have the powers. Ten. Oh, you did not wow. get ten. We did get oh, ten. Wow. Bravo. Kevin a Sucker, a Playboy Bunny, and a doorman walk into a courthouse. Five. Not Five. ten. Wow. Okay, sweet dreams are made of girl. Eight. I think we had eight, yeah. And Trump's plane will be renamed Con Air. Uh -huh. I believe it's six. I love that team name. All right, oodles <laughs> of noodles for McDougals. Did you keep the, are you holding on to the lead? Good time, right? No. I have heard of none of these, but our team was awesome with 10. Ah, wow. I was on that team, you guys, just letting you know. <laughs> I knew one. one point for us. You Thank helped you. us, yes. You I knew one, us. but I didn't know it. I knew it well enough that Bill could remember the real name. I just so kind they of. Correct. They, you knew it well enough so they could correct your spelling. Yeah. I, <laughs> and how I pronounced it. Kevin Febbermind. Kevin Finderline. Finderline. Uh, that was pretty bad. Better. That was good. Good job, Kevin. I think we're done I with Kevin. Do I hope. Next time I'm going to do that fast. I'm going to say first team back, 120 oh. second warning. <laughs> I don't think so. That All right. Good. So here's the next That's category. Good. It's going to be Peggy. We haven't had Peggy for a while. So cool. Let's see what got, Peggy's got in store for us. Okay. Tonight's category is a movie hodgepodge, and they all have a common theme. Um, oh. I'm going to give you the year, the director, and some of the actors, and you just have to name the film. Ooh, okay. Knowing the common theme may help or not. I don't know. Huh? All in three, two, one. Do all the movies have a rat? They're all in. In the two of us, they look no more. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. Number one in 1994, directed by Mike Newell, starring Andy McDowell, John Hanna, and Kristen Scott Thomas. And number two is... Do, do, do. Got to get back to the chat. Where's my chat? Paste. Okay, number two is also 1994, directed by Frank Darabont, starring Morgan Freeman, Tim Robbins, and Clancy Brown. And number three is, where are you, Zoom?
1982, directed by Ridley Scott, starring Rutger Hauer, Sean Young, and Edward James Olmos. Number four. Copy. Doop, doop, doop. Oops, not wrong one. Nineteen fifty-two, co-directed by Stanley Donnan, starring Donald O'Connor, Gene Hagen, and Debbie Reynolds. Come on, little guy. Copy. Let's see here. Number five is 1954, directed by Akira Kurosawa, starring Toshiro Mifune and Takashi Shimura. Oops. Should we just put Titanic on all of these? <laughs> no. Number six is 1992, directed by somebody. As soon as I get pasted here, directed directed by Clint Eastwood, starring Gene Hackman and Morgan Freeman. Hmm. Number seven is 1932. Even before I was born. <gasps> I'm sorry, that's disqualified. <laughs> Directed by Lewis Milestone, starring Joan Crawford, John Houston, and Fred Howard. Probably no one anybody knows except her. All right. Number oh, eight is. Oh. oh, come on. Sometimes I hate my laptop. I need a mouse. Yeah, a mouse would be handy. Instead of this stupid pad. Yeah, get a mouse. Plug it in. What about a rat named Ben? <laughs> I'll name it Ben, the mouse. Okay, number eight, 1961, directed by Blake Edwards, starring George Pappard, Patricia Neal, and Buddy Ebsen. Ooh. I'm going to take nine and ten together. I really hope I wasn't named after a rat. You better ask. You might have been, dude. Ben. The two of us. Number nine, 1993, directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Jeff Goldblum, Richard Attenborough, and Wayne Knight. Number 10, 2002, directed by Sam Mendes, starring Tom Hanks, Paul Newman, Jude Law, and Daniel Craig. Hey, do I have power? I have power. Look. Hey, Any I'm in charge. Before we go. All right, guys, go to your rooms. All right, room four. Go to my room, Susan. I'm in your room. Am I in my room? Oh, I'm in my You're room. In I'm not room. supposed to be. Get out of your room. No, give us all the answers for us, Peggy. That's how it works. I think I, I think I know eight, at number eight, not eight. What is eight? Breakfast at Tiffany's is good. Yeah, Buddy Epson was the guy she was supposed to marry. Right, I think you're right. I I have a few of these. I thought it. Okay, start at the top. Let's go to the top. All right. Anybody know this one? I don't remember it. Is that Sex Lies and Videotape? I know it had Andy McDowell in it. It did. Sure. Yeah. Does it also have uh, Kristen Scott Thomas? I don't know. What the heck just happened? How did I like duplicate that? That's freaking weird. Morgan Freeman, Tim Robbins, 94. Could this be Filled of Dreams? On two? Uh, That's not 1994. No. Field of Dreams had uh, Kevin Costner in it. I know, but yeah. she's not going to put the star. Yeah, it's not going to give yeah, you the true. easy ones. Yeah. Maybe Clancy Brown. 
because that's 1994-ish, yeah. Or was it directed by Frank Darabont? I, I don't know who anybody directs. Direct. I don't know any directors. He, he likes to direct um, like horror, like zombie type stuff. But with Morgan Freeman? Well, was Morgan Freeman in, uh, was he in Field of Dreams? Yeah, he was the, he was the right, guy. I like it. I'll take it. Where if I knew two answers in a category, so I don't know. Well, three was Blade Runner. I know that for sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. What about four? That's 1952. That's before my time. I have no clue. Uh, singing in the rain. Oh, thank you. Oh, Debbie Reynolds. Yeah, you're right. That makes sense. Stars there. Yeah. Okay, which Kurosawa movie is it? No idea. I know is Kurosawa. It? I just don't remember. No idea who these people are. One. Is this Godzilla meets... Uh... No. no, 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 no. These are serious. George, George uh, Lucas took inspiration from Kurosawa films for Star Wars. Yeah, they oh. were like... Um, it's no, like, like The yeah. Last Samurai or something like that. Yeah, they had like... what like they, they were almost like Westerns, you know, with the... Yeah, it was like Western, the, Western mashed up with Samurai type stuff. Yeah. I don't know, so I'll put this for now. The Last Samurai? Clint Eastwood. 92. With Morgan Freeman. Isn't that the boxing movie that he did? Gene Hackman? Well, Morgan Freeman probably was in it. Clint Eastwood. He did a he did a one. Was it with a woman who was a boxer? I'm trying to remember. Was that the um, where she dies. Wait, I didn't see um, it. again, if he's not putting the most, or she's not putting the most uh, famous people necessarily, I mean, those are famous people, but yeah, Hillary, Hillary Swank, was she the the boxer? The it was a guy, I only that, know, I only know because Clint Eastwood lives in lives near me. Well, not near me but you know he's uh, the- was gene hackman and morgan freeman in the movie uh when was uh unforgiven because that was directed by clint eastwood but also starred him i think seems more recent but i don't know i didn't see it no unforgiven was a while back because unforgiven was out when i was working at a movie theater and that was back in the 90s okay maybe yeah i just don't maybe. know if the other people were in it i don't know so unless we have another answer, I'll put that down. Anybody no know idea. number seven? Because it's from 1932. Um, 32. You know, we never did try to find out if there's a theme. Janine, I know you don't no. know these movies, but maybe you could look at it and see if you feel like there's a theme in there somewhere. Well, I've been thinking. Not successfully. <laughs> you know, because it could be something to do with, like, weather. The weather? No. Well, because three is definitely uh, Jurassic Park. Three? You know, we have some that Blade we Runner. know for sure what their answers are. Mm-hmm. Jurassic Park, um, Blade Runner. Uh, ten is what Jurassic. the theme is. Oh, so, nine um, is Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah, nine is Jurassic Park. What the heck was ten? Anybody know that one? Tom Hanks, Paul Newman, Jude Law, and Daniel Craig. That's a weird combination of people. Yeah. Um, Paul Newman. Okay, so let's look at... I'm drawing a blank on that one. Sorry, guys. So it doesn't appear the theme is documentaries. No, no. definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but I I, th- I wouldn't be surprised if it has something to do with a very, word. Very observation there. Well, we know for sure what some of them are. So if we stick to the ones we know for sure, like Blade Runner, um, and then Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Are there any that were po- others that were positive on? Okay, what are we positive of? Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm not seeing Jurassic Park. Blade Runner. I'm not seeing any sort of connection there. Okay, let's think. 
Are they all play? No, they're not all places. Well, Field of Dreams. No, they're not all places. That's going to bug me because I'm sure I'm going to hear that name for the Kurosawa movie and then be like, oh, yeah, that's the name of it. I don't think The Last Samurai is right. It's just kind well, of. Well, once we get the theme, it'll probably be obvious. Um... Okay, what does Jurassic Park and Breakfast at Tiffany's have in common? No idea. Diamond. Diamond? No, Jurassic is too. Jurassic yeah. is more like coal. Um, okay, so maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the words because I am not seeing anything either. And usually I pick up on that. It's about the only thing I can do. Oh, Dang it. two minutes. So Tom if it's not small, that, it's probably together. got something to do with the people who are in it or who's directing them or the person who was left out. Is there a theme with who's left out? I don't know about that. I don't think somebody from 1932 to 2002. Unless their first name is the same, like they're all Georges or something. Kevin's. Yeah, we for for Field of Dreams we have Kevin Cosner. Oh God, it can't be Kevin again, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, no she oh, have a, we have done that. Missing they Kevin's. Throw in throw in some two thousand two movies and a nineteen thirty two movie. Breakfast at Tiffany's. The the actress that's missing from this is Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. What the heck is what the heck was Tom Hanks and Paul Newman and them guys all in together? I cannot for the life of me remember. Could it be a joke thing, like a you know, where they throw a, everybody in in their kitchen sink. Was it a political one of those political thrillers or something? Two thousand two. Paul Newman. Two American guys and two British guys. Daniel Craig. I'm not seeing the theme. She's got a well hidden whatever it is. I don't know. Can you name a 1932 film in the next couple seconds? No. I have no idea of movies from that time period. Oh, God. I should oh, boy. Seen. Movies. Oh. Uh, Bridge over the Ridge for I'm going to change five to like Hidden Fortress. Bridge over the River Kwai. Put that down for seven. I think it's about 1932. Good job, everybody. You fooled us, Peggy. I don't know what it is that that theme is, but you got us fooled. Did anybody yeah, else come up with the theme? We got the theme. Yeah, but we, somebody yeah. we got the theme and it hit one of the answers. And we're hoping it's right. <laughs> Oh, I don't I, think we I, didn't even try to I get forgot the there was a theme. I yeah, forgot. It was, it was yeah, Kevin. I, I think I know the theme. We were thinking it was Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> or George, one of the two. But Not I don't George. think so. Not Kevin. Oh, dang it. I should have Oh, I forgot there was a theme. What? Yeah, we did. At the end, we were we were like, oh shit. Joan. Uh, uh, rainy movie. Uh, Right. Oh, oh I should have. You know what? I thought about that too. Whenever I saw, oh, all right. Number one, four weddings and a funeral. Yeah. Oh, oh. Number two is yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Favorite movie. Right. Number three is Blade Runner. Good. Uh, iconic scene in the rain. Yep. Number four, the one that should have given it away. Yeah, yeah. and that. Did. Number five is the Seven Samurai. Oh, yay! Okay. Yeah. Number six is Unforgiven. Oh, it was They're Unforgiven. Keep talking themselves uh, out of this one. <laughs> Number seven is Rain. Oh, yes. <laughs> never yes. heard of it. <laughs> they just had such a good poster for that. Number eight, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, oh, I forgot about the rain scene with the cat. Yeah. Number Jurassic nine Park. is Jurassic Park. Lots of good rain in that movie. No man. Number 10 is Road to Perdition. And if you haven't seen this movie, because I heard some people who had no idea what it was, great film, really good. 
It is. I agree. Number four was singing in the rain. Sorry, yeah. I didn't see the screen. Yes. Okay. Good category. Man, that Woo! is really you messed with us. You know, if we'd figured out the category, we could have gotten at least one more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, you're right. It made a difference for us. We we determined the category and I said, well, let's use that for a name. Yeah, that was very clever deduction. And I thought that if there was one that people would have a hard time with for sure would be the 1932 rain. Also, all those movies are worth watching. Y'all should watch them all if you haven't seen them. They're all good. You know, the yeah. other movie that has a lot of rain in it is Seven. Oh, yeah. I don't want to pay any attention to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that movie. <laughs> the, new, the new Nightmare Alley has... What about it has a lot that? of mud in it? It's my brother made what? the fat suit, the fat uh, gluttony. He made gluttony for that film. Oh, really? really? Cool. My, my late brother. Wow. wow. I, you know what? That movie, I, 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 yeah, I agree with everybody except that it had the best, like, I don't know if you call them special effect costume, I guess. The costume thing with it, it was just amazing. We had really good. That was good. Team. That was a really Whoa. tough one. But you know, I should have when I saw Blade Runner and I saw Singing in the Rain. It it like was there and then it was gone because I couldn't remember the Breakfast of Tiffany's or Jurassic Park with the rain for some reason. Oh, Jurassic Park, yeah. I, I this, yeah. this, this category so came to me while it was raining, raining, raining. So it was ah. good category. generated by the weather. Very good. Okay, so let's see what we got for scores. Let's see how everybody did. So we've got some really high score um, rounds. Consistent 6.8, 7.4, 7 7.8. So I think this is going to be in the eights. All right, hiccups. Okay, so a porn star, a Playboy bunny, and a doorman walk <laughs> into a courthouse. Well, we liked our last round so much we got another five. Wow. Okay. Yeah, which the same <laughs> Sorry, fine. team. We call that fine. Oh, that's fine, the team fine. I was on. I thought we did yeah. better than that. Okay. Yeah. Sweet dreams are made of Carl. Eight. All right. And Trump's plane will be renamed Con Air. I like that one. I think we had six. I still have the powers. <laughs> wow. Damn. And then uh, oodles of noodles for McDoodles. For the best team ever, 10. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. You just keep taking it out of their poor power, their poor hands. They, they're, they're like, we got this. We got this. Wow. Nope. I'm impressed so far. Okay. So we're at a 7.8, same same score as last time. So I don't know what you're going to be able to do for our bonus here, but uh, let's let's hope it's something that's hard and will be interesting there as well. Let me give you powers to you. Okay, there you go. You have your powers. How many staples Great. in the red stapler? <laughs> What's in my pocket? Category. Plus or minus 10. The top 10 staple foods of global importance by annual production. Name the top wow, 10. I just looked this up about planet. three weeks ago. Thinking this about is the biggest stretch ever for the picture in the background. <laughs> Congratulations. Staple. Congratulations. Staple Come on. I can't give it away. All right. Or breakout rooms. What well, should we call this category? Top 10 staple foods? I guess. Yeah. 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 Worldwide, right? Yeah. Number one. What the one that one's got to be rice. Rice has to be number one. Wait. Yeah. Uh, Hello, just, team. I'm here to. Help. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, rice. Well, gotta be, gotta be rice. rice. Wheat. Wheat, mate. Let me write mine down. <laughs> Wine. Rice. 
Uh, wheat. Right? Or maybe wheat grain, whatever. Maybe a well, no, you'd have you you can't say grain because you'd have to you'd have to specify. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. specified. How about like well, a yeah, nut? I would assume. I would assume. Nut? One of the nuts. No sugar. Could we say sugar? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that a staple? Sugar. My house is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, like salt, but I mean, oh, those corn, you guys, corn, they, well, corn here, but is that, is corn a big thing all over the world? Yes. How about soybeans? Soybeans? Yeah. Soy, probably. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. I'm thinking now I got it. I play pit. That is like the game. So let me think of the categories, rice, wheat, Soybeans, corn, flax, rye. Rye. I can't think, but um, it would it include any meats like fish. Uh, well, I would put fish. You could probably just put fish. That's what I mean. Just fish. I would think. Yeah, that would. I would think so for a good part of the world. Yeah, rye is the y r y e. Oh, oh, in Canada it's different, Cindy. No, no, oh, it's the same. I doubt it's. I doubt flax and rye are on there, but they're they're like traded on the stock exchange. They're like a what? Yeah, I think they're more like additives. I mean, like you might add flax to certain grain food, like oatmeal with flax. Oh. I don't think it's by a staple by itself. I don't think it's in there. Beans would be a staple by itself. Yeah, well, beans would be a good not. one. Yeah, just beans itself. Uh, I, in the mean, bean yeah, I, think, I, I don't think that'll be acceptable. I think you have to, you'd have to, there's so many kinds of beans, you'd have to, uh, you'd have to specify. Yeah. What are those brown yeah. beans? You know, well, I'm, well, I'm saying top 10 staples. I would think that would include just the, the category of food it is like it's in the grain category if it's in the beans the vegetables the meat my i, I no, don't how remember. specific do we have well, to it? She, you it know what when he, when he shows up, let's let's ask him when he when he when he drops by hopefully he'll drop by soon but i i'm yeah. thinking he's going to want to be more specific than that i'll make him drop by how about that yeah how about that what about cheese <laughs> any particular cheese four i'm going to move him to us uh, here he is. Shazam. They just appear like magic. <laughs> okay, so we have a question for you, Carl. Uh, okay. The question is, can somebody frame it? All right. Can, can, have to, like, can you just say beans? Or you would have to say a specific kind of bean? Or could you just say grain? But you would have to have a specific no, you grain. Can't, you can't just say grain and you can't just say beans. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Let's be more specific. It, yeah. yeah. Now, now, if the answer was, let's hypothetically say, the answer was sunflower, you wouldn't have to say Northern California sunflower. Sunflower right. would be enough, but you couldn't right. just say flower. Okay. Can it include meat? But you'd have to say what kind of meat. So I'm going to go room to room and tell everyone that, uh, let's see. A staple food is a food that is eaten often in such quantities that it constitutes the dominant portion of a standard diet for a given group of people. And it has to be a specific, if it's a larger, uh, a, a larger group of food, it's got to be a specific, like like grain. You can't say grain. You have to have the grain specific. Grain is not an acceptable answer. Could you read yeah. that? Read it one more time, Carl? You have to mention the specific grain you're talking about. Okay, or, Carl, can you read it again? A staple food is a food that is eaten in such quantities that it constitutes a dominant portion of a standard diet for a given group of people. Okay. okay. This can include meat. Well, I would think fish because it, that it sounds like a staple. It is or... enough that it constitutes a dominant portion of a standard diet for a group of people. I would think that I would think fish would, would you could say yeah. fish. But I don't think that... you can say meat. No, I'm just saying meat with an S. Go, and then we can go to something specific like beef 
or pork. Beef might be good. How about pork? Yeah. Beef or pork. Uh, but uh, pork, I think, would, you know, would, 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 would work. Yeah, because I think, well, Asians eat a lot of pork. In America, we eat That's a true. variety of meat. In America, we eat a variety of meat because we have a variety of people. But we don't have a lot of, um, we don't eat a lot of, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so what would you say, like, if you were to say about a country or a place, you would say, oh, their staple diet is, like, yeah, in... Well, that's like when you say rice, you know. Uh, uh, the Native Americans eat corn. Asia. Native Americans eat corn. Oh, how about potatoes? Yeah, Irish potatoes. That's a staple. Yeah, and when they didn't have, and when the Irish didn't have potatoes, they were starving. Right. So that's a staple. Um, so how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I would take off rye and flax and maybe yeah. even soybeans. I would I would say soy. I would just leave it at soy. What is soy? Uh, there's I don't know, but they they're planting it all over the place here. We see we see it everywhere. How about sugar cane? Soy soy is um Soy is mainly from um, the Asian countries, and uh, it it or it is um, like a gelatinous kind of thing. You can make a whole bunch of things from soy. Well, I think but soy actually vegetable. comes from a plant. It's a plant. It is a plant. Yep, it's a plant and, first. and uh, it's a leafy plant, plant. and the, we we see it a, a lot here in Illinois, and a lot of places they've 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 replaced. Um, I think a lot, a lot of the like, I think some of the, some of the places where they, they grew like tobacco and stuff, they replaced since tobacco is like a no, no, they've replaced that with soy, but soy has become a big, a big, uh, I think they use it for, um, gasoline production, oil production. That's why soy is so big. Yeah. Well, and it's, and it's a food. Yeah. Yeah. But it, how common Not is that? I mean, it's still, common, still kind of a, uh, esoteric food. At least in America. Um, I yeah, well, that's America, you know. But uh, I no, I think soy is still pretty common. I, I, yeah, but well, I would, I would, keep it there. I would keep it there until we have something better. What other food would you say? Like Ice cream. cheese? No, Ice canola. Cream. Canola. We're not. Canola. Canola. Canola oil. Oh, the oil. Canola so. Oil. In Canada, you would say their staple is what, Vincent? Wheat. We've got wheat up there. Bacon. That's maple oh, syrup. Pork. That would I think that would come under pork. I think. That yeah, would, yeah. of course, pork would. Yeah. But I mean, what would you say? Like, so I think what he's looking for are those things that people would be. Like that is what they have to have. That that whole culture eats this thing. Poutine. <laughs> yeah. Poutine. Uh, poutine, when I was in Quebec, was not a thing. How about and, grapes? His grapes covers wine. No. 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 Well, um, popular. I don't think fruit. of any other vegetable besides potatoes that would be a staple crop. Potatoes uh, would, be, would be a staple crop as well as something rice. else. As well as rice, as well as uh, canola. Yeah. Um. Uh, another one is. Oh, we have ten. Uh, do yeah, we, we have ten? Yeah, we have ten. We have rice. Well, what about sugar? Eight sugar is huge. Fish sugar is very very huge. Do you mean? Refined sugar, but is that? A, a, but you count. Is it considered a staple? Is it a necessity? Yeah. I mean, we do uh, use sugar. a lot of it grows in that area. To use it, though. yeah. I think this is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What am I missing? Tuna. That's good. Well, well that's tuna. fish. We put that's, tuna. That's, that's fish. fish. Yeah. I mean, it's like gefilte fish. You know. Yeah. Take off tuna. That's because. 
I think we're no. Already- I would not a tuna. I would not differentiate between a tuna and fish. It, you just you just put down fish, because I I think if you any 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 country that depends on fishing, there there would be a lot of different fish that they'd be eating. There wouldn't be one in particular. Yeah, I agree. How about um, shellfish or some kind of thing for people who would eat it like? that are near water, they would always have, not just fish, but like. Oysters and clams, mussels. Yeah, mussels Again, not staples though. It's, yeah. Yeah. But fish, yeah, fish is staples. Because... So take off tuna, yeah. Uh, let's we'll see. We need one more, you guys. Peas? Yeah, I was thinking that too, but I don't think it's staple. How about milk or no? What do you think? Not milk. Dairy? But then you'd have to be more specific. Eggs? Oh, eggs are a staple, wouldn't you think? I would think. You don't really cook anything without eggs. I think eggs is good. Yeah, Alan, I think you got it. All right, but uh, okay, how many do we have? And what would we get rid of? Isn't that 10? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. I would take off sugar. Eight, nine, ten. I would get rid of canola. I would get rid of canola before sugar. Okay, I'll get rid of canola. Well, hang on, but I—that was just what I said. That that doesn't mean that. Um. There's eleven there. Well, canola is an oil, right? Yeah. That's yeah. needed. But I was thinking about like when people are starving, what are the things that they want to, what things, what food does their community want the most? I think canola over sugar. It's going to be That's something like with it. fat. So, so uh, it's uh, fat, I'm, it's going to be wheat, flour, stuff like I'm, that. I'm giving every, every group this clarification that a staple food is a food that is eaten in such quantities that constitutes a dominant portion of a standard diet for a given group of people. So it wouldn't be sugar. But it wouldn't be cannoli. Yeah. I don't I, think cannoli is just. But I mean, we're going to run out of. Canola st- isn't cannoli just something that you that you eat with something. Is it a I separate that's true plant? with all of them, isn't it? Well, well like sure it, no, no, no. for a lot, of, a lot of the world, like rice is, is what they eat, period. True. So it's okay. their entire diet. Ish. Okay, so these need to be things that is like your majority of your diet. So probably not sugar, yeah. probably not canola. Yeah. For me, uh, for me, it would be chocolate. But uh, <laughs> I know sugar would be mine, but I don't think that's a majority. Can we use liquids like milk or just solid foods? If you think that there is a liquid that constitutes the majority of any group's diet, in the top 10, you could put it in there. Okay. It doesn't sound right now that he's saying it like that. Well, then <laughs> I think that maybe milk or milk ought to be in there. How about some kind of dairy? Well, that's milk. Well, that's eggs. Or eggs, and we had the eggs. Or well, cheese. Eggs. But how about like a... We would have to say Pacific cheese. Eggs is not dairy, by the way. Well, oh. No. Not yeah, but how about like oh, that's uh, why that's why that's right. That's why you can have eggs and meat together. Yes, it's in just a it's, in a it's just home. it's always been in the dairy aisle, but it's technically right. dairy. Okay, so in the dairy world, what would be a staple that a majority of the diet would be like a cheese, cheese, right? Wouldn't that make sense? Some kind of cheese in every culture that's a majority. Yeah. Of, oh no, it's not the majority of their diet. But it's a big part of their diet. Cheese? I mean, actually, people used to exist on cheese and bread. Well, well that's maybe I, I and I don't think we can include bread because that would be wheat. I, that, well, yeah. that's what we I mean, I know that. But, but I cheese, mean like you make glass like Cultures make cheese because they can, you know, store it and they can, you know, last for a long time. So I we would have we have ten there, but if we keep cheese on there, yeah. it's I think it's something that's dairy related. So well, yeah, it's got milk, and it's not milk, 
and butter and yeah uh, actually it's do you make butter from milk i forgot that's true you do but i i think cheese more than butter because you can't make milk from butter yeah you make you make butter from milk kidding i'm confused oh, okay yeah don't start me <laughs> i'm confused okay but well, that what came, saying what, came, what came first, the milk or the cow? <laughs> the well, uh, uh, evolutionarily speaking, the milk. How about chicken? <laughs> How about chicken, you guys, instead of cheese? Well, yeah, that's one of the meats. Well, that would be poultry. We don't have poultry on here. Well, then let's put poultry. Instead of cheese? Instead of, instead of one. You guys ready for a two-minute warning? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. We're just going to sit here and argue until we... That's what I figured. <laughs> P -O -G -P -O yeah, it gives you it gives you an extra a minute and a half to change your mind on everything and and be wrong. I think, I think that's good. Well, uh, Vincent, you're as bad at spelling as I am. Oh, I'm the worst spelling. Did, did I? Did I? Is spelled with an O. My oh, oh, it's A O. Yeah, P O U, P O U L T R Y. Poultry. -O -U. This is a hard category because we don't really. You're not sure what fits. Mm -hmm. I I I am a very bad speller. <laughs> well, I I'm not, really bad. You, I did not. It's, it's do very well. hard to get worse than me. Yeah, no, I did not One, do two, well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nineteen. But then you're also Canadian, so you can get away with it. You just say that's. Oh, add a, add a you to anything. Yeah, and you could say Adding you could you. say if you could say, I just having a hard time with your accent, Susan. <laughs> oh, I couldn't say that. Yeah, you could say that. I would. <laughs> <laughs> if I was trying to spell Canadian words or words, and then I was trying to put them in English, and I was supposed most to. The, most of the Canadian words are from the old English. Oh. Yeah. Still the same. Still no, the same. it's just a different language. I what? mean, no. it's, it's like a different language. Have you ever tried to read anything written in Old English? It's, <sighs> it's like they have to, it has to be translated for modern English speakers. Well, that's like studying okay. Shakespeare. He's not Old English. Hmm? He's he didn't not exist. Old English. There's no somebody no named Shakespeare. What's wrong with you? It was written by Jack the Ripper. But that was. All right. Is everyone okay. back? Yep. I think so. I'm going to offer you an extra clarification and reopen all rooms. What? Just because I, uh, upon reflection, I think it's only fair that someone could make some claims of what isn't or isn't a staple. And so I will clarify that these are all crops. Uh, like you grow. Yeah. Oh, crops. Crops. Oh, so, okay. even so vegetarian by, so, friendly. So, yeah. yeah, so by definition, you know, beef and pork don't meet the definition really, but I'll clarify so you just know anybody who can go back and change it and get rid of their beef, pork, fish stuff. Oh, good. Thank you, because you would have had mutiny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have to go back, then. Apparently, recording is in progress. And now I can tear up our entire list. So no, we're going to keep... No, it's not that, not that bad. Rice. Not the entire list. Um, entire yeah, list. Rice, wheat, meat, potatoes. We uh, eat the soy. Potatoes, soy. soy, fish is out, right? Fish, Corn. Yeah, fish beef, chicken. I, you eggs, know, eggs I, are out too. He says they all. Did he say they all are crops? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. it seems okay. to me fish, uh, fish ought to be in there. Okay, but, we can keep yeah. rye. We can put rye back in there. That's yeah. You know what? Rye. This is this is this is turning more and more into um, the game I play called pit it was all the these things that are traded on the stock market they were all wheat rye rice there was no potatoes um flax flax 
flax, F L A X. Like okay. flax seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are all things traded on the stock market. Okay. And they're all grains. All right. Yeah. So put down, okay, stocks. Let me think. Put down stocks. Include stocks. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. It was flax, rice, wheat. It didn't have potatoes. Soy, corn, rye. No potatoes. No, potatoes are a crop, though, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they are a crop. Yeah, leave them on because I don't leave think there's them on 10. Unless we, have something, unless we have something else. No, we don't have 10. We definitely don't one, have 10. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven on my list. One, two. Yeah, what's a, a what's another big grain that at um, least most of Europe and America has grown? I'm going to put canola. Okay. okay. Um, that uh, is traded on the stock exchange canola is and um mm. we have rice right yeah seaweed <laughs> <laughs> uh. hey seaweed put it down seaweed. until we get put it down until we get something better we need one more you guys we only have 60 seconds so think no what um, are some grasses that we eat do you have any grasses how about like um, sugar cane? Sugar cane, yeah, that works. Because that's how they get cane sugar, right? They get well, sugar. Pan, that's that's panda bears. Eat, oh, or eat, eat. Oh no, that's uh, not sugar not, cane. Or what's that other stuff that they throw bamboo. in? Um, bamboo. It's <laughs> like do they make molasses out of it. Is it sugar cane? No, it's a tree, isn't it? A maple tree. Beets. Beets is another one. Beets. Oh yeah, that would be because you can get sugar from beets. Okay, so what do we sugar got? Beets? Wait, they quick. Sugar how, beets. Many, how many do we have? How take many do we seaweed have? off of there. Yeah, oh. take seaweed. Take get get rid of seaweed. You good. guys hurry up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're at ten. All right. Good job, guys. Funny how we can do it whenever we're in a hurry. Add on to the main the main thing. Yeah. Hey Not Gail, how about thing. olive oil? <laughs> Thing is, I got muted. I got muted, and then when the two-minute warning came, I couldn't do anything. Um, so I couldn't input anything. What? That's weird. Uh, we gotta uh, that's, be, that's the way the program works on iPads. Wow. Mm -hmm. huh. So give us that's, back another minute. Uh, I give you two minutes. I can't give you less than that. I can open the rooms and close the room. Okay. That's why I only use a, the hotspot. Does my team want to go back? No. 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 I'm assuming we're we'll all. Let's talk ourselves out of it. Nobody else is allowed to go back except for the one group that requested it. Kyle, did you get into your team that you wanted to be in? We're, I didn't need to go up. back to my team. Okay. All right. Ready. Cool. Yeah. We're, we're eating up all the time Kevin made for us. <sighs> so we used to play a game. My family's always played this game. We've played it a billion times. And I think this game is going to help because it made me come up with some stuff that I would normally have never put. The game is called Pit. It's a trading oh, game. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a game come from uh, the um, stock exchange. Yep. And yeah. we have played that a so, zillion times. So I hope you. that's going to help. Because I came up with stuff a, I would never have known. Just it's a, that. it's a commodities exchange. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. So I hope that's it. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. We, we you used to play used pit. To to I've never known anybody else right. to play pit, but it was our family I know game. Of it. I know of it. I don't know if I ever played it, but we used to go to this camp and they had all these games and things, and one of them was pit. This was in the '60s. So some of the stuff that was like the edition from the 50s i think so Troy, we were just real, in the room replace was, number 10 with olive oil there was a so real the, old clue um, we used to play we of, played pit so much that we would wear it's a deck of cards we've gone yeah, through yeah, at least yeah. three or four decks of cards we've had to just throw out the game we and played, get new cards we played so in my uh High school college credit literature class of we were reading books in the era of the stock market crash and depression. Oh, that's interesting. 
Who said something about olive oil? Was it directed at me? Yes. No, it was directed at Troy. Troy. Okay. You wanted 10 swapped out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Olive, olive, oil olive oil instead of canola. Okay. Hmm. Got it. So in the 60s, is that when when they uh, perfected the wheel? No, <laughs> that was at least the 30s. <laughs> well, yeah, it had that one. Perfected, they're that still one working on it. It's getting better and better every day. They finally figured yeah. out to do it. Yeah, who it's says more and more perfect. round? Now that we're going some, into outer space. They even got some to work on the moon. We, the oh. wheel, the wheel has really worked on do the moon. Do you guys see the Colbert, uh, Stephen Colbert? He interviewed the, the astronauts that are going to be going to the moon. To the no, no. He just, did a, he just did a thing, and I watched it. I was like, "Oh, I didn't know anything about this." But they're not going to go up till late 2024, at yeah. least. Was one of his questions were they expecting to find Alice on there? Alice the on the moon. Alice. To the yeah. moon, Alice. To the yes. moon. Oh, one of God. these days, Alice. Alice cracked Oh it. no! But he never did it. Ah. He never got to the point where he. Did no, it. he didn't. <laughs> he never did. Okay, so before we go to answers, I'm going to just throw it out there. Did anybody decide that they wanted to contribute besides the normal people who, who always have a category? But I'm giving a chance to those people who don't normally have categories ready. And Troy, okay. and I have Robin doing bonus. Is there anybody else who said that they want to, deep down in their heart, contribute to the game by coming up with a category? Susan, me, you. Bill. Bill, yeah. Bill's ready. Bill. Oh, Bill's Ooh, waiting. Woo, woo, woo. Go for it, Bill. So Who else? You'll, you'll have to volunteer me if you want me to do it. Vincent, I hear Vincent's volunteering. Sounds like Vincent <laughs> volunteered to me. What he said. Yeah, I need one more <laughs> category. Who is no, it? I didn't say that. I said you'd have to volunteer. You've been volunteered. You've been volunteered. Who is, who's the other person who said they wanted to volunteer? I can't remember now. You got me? Yeah, I got you, Bill. Okay. Who was the other so, one? How about a brandy round? She's muted. She's <laughs> she's smart. Huh? What was happening? <laughs> I think you volunteered to do a round next week, Brandy. Hi, Rita. Okay. All okay. right. Yay. If oh, she no, hadn't girl, said girl, yes, girl, we were brandy. gonna we were gonna volunteer Alan because I don't think he's ever done one. Oh. Yeah, he did. No, Alan yeah. did. He did. He did. Maybe two. Oh, no, Alan. Okay, one. And and Brandy, you can send them to me because I always have the first person do it because I'm not playing next week. Oh, yes, okay. if you need somebody to look over it with you. Yeah, oh, we can use Rob. Okay. Oh, thank you, Rob. Okay, so which which is, which is ironic because he won't be here to complain about not liking them if he didn't review them. <laughs> <laughs> Rob never complains. Rob, Rob you want to post your email address so I can send mine to you also? Yeah. Okay, so number one. Maize or corn, 873 million metric tons per year. Rice, 738 million metric tons a year. I'm surprised rice doesn't come before maize. I am too. Wheat, 671 million. So far, wheat checks. Rice checks, corn checks. Yeah. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. I'm yep. They potatoes. were not they were not on that game though. We never traded potatoes. Sava. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, What's that? that, one. that. Oh, Thank my you, Thank you Janine. What's what cassava? Good boy. What? What? Boy. Oh, boy. oh. Boy I bean. suggested that team just oh, saying. Wow. We did. Soybeans, the number one crop grown in Missouri. Um, can you just say soy? Well, that, was that good enough? We said soybeans. We said soybeans. Is there another kind of soy? Well, soy sauce. Well, soybeans. Oh, soy sauce. oh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, that's hey, oh, I didn't even think of sweet potatoes. Oh, closely related? Yams? Oh, I didn't said all yams. We thought that was going to be redundant. I argued that was redundant, yeah. Well, yams and sweet potatoes are sorghum. Sweet. Oh, I forgot about I sugar. Almost that. said sorghum. Oh. I did sorghum. Say sorghum. That's sugars. 
No, it's what okay. Is it a cane sugar? Because we put down no. sugar cane. No, sugar, no, sugar is not on the list. Syrup. And finally, now wait a plantain. minute. Let me let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Sure. Are we excluding crops that are fed to cows? This is yes, for, not a this is human human consumption. Human consumption only. Okay. What about chicken nuggets? Plantain. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, flax wasn't on there, so it didn't hit the. Uh, and rye's not on there, huh? No, rice, no rice is on there. No no rye. Rye. Oh, rye. A pocket full of rye. Rye. Yeah. No. <laughs> Where did my thing go? What sort of? Wow. Yeah, what is sort Isn't that what they make molasses out of? It's a, it's, I just saw it's a, ja a genus of 25 species of flowering plants in the grass family. Oh, you're eating grass. Oh, it has cereals for human consumption. Okay. Oh, yeah. little budgie birds love this. Yep. Yay, Carl. If this and John, we would have had the sorghum and plant. And, and, and if anyone's interested, the round is in the uh, chat. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Good job. Well, we've had some good categories tonight. This has been weird. May somebody, hey Alan, make sure you tell Ron. <laughs> Wait until my category. You won't think. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. Really weird. So, so, who is the official list for next week now? Okay, so you might want to anybody who's a little nervous about it. Get Rob just posted his email. I think. No, I didn't want to interfere with the answer or something. Okay, it, put it in now. there. There, there it is. Now. There it is. So you can check with him. So Bill, Vincent, Troy. Brandy and the bonus is Robin. That's where we be. I think I'm going to do a whole game here someday soon. I should really sit so, down. So, so I'll be I'll be six or seven or eight hours ahead of you people for the and uh, busy. So don't give it to me at the last minute. If so, we can send it to somebody else. Caspian yeah. would probably isn't going to be here either. But he's he's halfway around the planet. Yeah, but he if you give it to, well, oh yeah, last minute, no, you don't ask. You're, you're gonna be halfway around the planet too. Hey, Rob, what's well, your not for me? Name? It's only six hours ahead for me. Oh yeah. Rob, what's your last name? Palmer, P-A-L-M-E-R. Okay. It's it's in my uh it's in my Zoom screen thing. You might as well face it. Because okay. uh, he's addicted, you know. <laughs> he's addicted to skepticism. That's it. No, I, f I prefer to say I'm simply irresistible. Okay. Simply irresistible. <laughs> Aaron got that. Simply irresistible. <laughs> okay, so we've got one team that is clearly in the lead. Now, this one really, this category really surprised me. I thought we did a lot better. So maybe, maybe oodles of noodles from a Googles. I think everybody's got a six on this or a five or a four. We'll find out. Okay, so let's go to hmm. a porn star, a Playboy bunny, a doorman walk into the courthouse. <laughs> I love that one. Seven. Wow, well, you were wrong there, Kevin. Seven. Yep. Okay, yep. so just by one. That's our best round. Trump's plane will be renamed Con Air. I believe we got five. I think no. I think we got six. What? What six? Let me double check. Hold on. We had rice, wheat, corn, potatoes, soy, and was plantain. potatoes an answer? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And, okay. and plantain. Yep. Yep. So we had six. There you go. Six, 34. Catch my and own. Lord of the Rings reference when I said potato. Yep. Yeah. Potato. Yeah, yeah. Sweet dreams are well, I didn't read it that way in, in the books, but maybe in the movies it was said like that. Sweet yeah. dreams are made of Carl. Seven. Yeah, wow. Okay. So I still have the powers. We only got five. Sadly. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot, you guys. Look, we just oh uh, never mind. They haven't given us four yet. Yeah. <laughs> Who's saying? We got five. Five. Wow. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Now look at this. We got a six sit between six and seven the whole night. That's really good. That's about the score distribution I expected because, like, the first few pretty easy to figure out, and then the last ones are a lot harder. See, look at look at the week before. We had a three point six on average, and a six <laughs> wow. and a five. Yeah, and who's our, that, who, who's was the three point six? Uh, Ron. And if you take the ten out of there, what was the average? I want to say yeah. even lower. Yeah, look at that. 
So make out a 10. That's right. Yeah, yeah, take the 10 out and see what the average is. Tell me. Everybody keeps saying that was a great round. I don't think so. 1.6 average without that one. Wow. I was forcing me out because they wanted to brush their teeth off. I can't even remember what the category was. What was it? Uh, periodic table elements. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that was a yeah. No wonder I didn't. Ron I'm Steiner. surprised I didn't dream about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been that having a lot of nightmares more, lately. That must be it. More difficult ones. It was, and then there was a theme to it, and we were like, "There's a theme in here somewhere." <laughs> Mendeleev would have got a three. What was the, what was the theme? <laughs> oh, it spelled his name. It spelled out. It spelled Ron, Ron, Ron Steiner. Ron Steiner. <laughs> That's. That's evil. Uh, uh, I was evil. Alan, I make sure you it, let though. your brother know. I liked it. I thought it was clever. I, I, I didn't think of it. Maybe if it wasn't about table of elements. Uh, yes. But you could do like, one with Susan if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. I have too many letters. Many. All right. So, good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good you good all. Night. Thank you for spending good time week. with me. And yeah, um, anybody who wants to come over set Sunday around noonish, please come over and we'll figure out something. We'll Deborah, play games. Are you going? Yeah. I think so. I may be a little bit minute, later like than noon. But... Too much of a drive for me. What? Yeah. Oh. There about Starting one. now. Here you are. Carl was in a dream you were walking and then some people were carrying you in a seat. So well, maybe you could. If you can get Roth Blocker to carry me, I'll come. I just cleaned it. It could be like a weekend at Bernie situation. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Ciao. Ciao. Monday, June. Good night.